let's do it. Good evening and welcome to the May 6th Warren Finance Committee meeting to hopefully, no not hopefully, we will go through all of these articles tonight and finish this warrant so that I can deliver it to the selectmen and they can be happy and we can all take a break. It is my intention to start at the beginning of the warrant. Uh, there are two articles which we skipped over. Actually, there are more than two, but uh, the two articles uh, that I'm mainly concerned about are Article 5 and Article 6. Those are both warrant articles proposing uh, ordinances. Uh, we don't necessarily have to uh, we need to either make a recommendation, yes or no. That's all. If you want to discuss the ordinance, that's up to you. I really don't care to discuss the ordinance. There's going to be a public hearing on the ordinances on the 13th, Jennifer? Correct. So this is just going to be our recommendation. Can I get a motion on Article 5? I make a motion that we uh, approve the recommendation of the can I get a second? Road Commissioner, that means, I'm sorry, is that Road Commissioner? Yeah, Road Commissioner, five on me. Okay. Can I get a second, please? I'll second that. I have a motion that's been made to approve the article as written. It's been seconded. Any discussion? No. Go ahead, Arnold. Uh, first of all, I don't have an ordinance to review, so I don't know how I can make a recommendation on it. Secondly, okay, um, as I have said repeatedly on the creation of ordinances, too, o too often ordinances are taken off the shelf and used to impose control. Creation of a good ordinance is the business of the town meeting. The road commissioner works for the town meeting. We elect the road commissioner, and the town made its feelings about that quite evident. So the road commissioner should be answerable to the town meeting, not to the selectmen, as that first version we saw of the uh, uh, draft appeared to, appeared to create. So uh, I'm going to put that aside, though. Okay, because right now we don't have an ordinance to vote on. So my vote is going to be no on this because we're making a recommendation to the town meeting here. How can you make a recommendation when you don't know what you're making a recommendation on? Sorry. Noted. Yeah. Arnold? Well, I have spoken to this before. These in the, the new road ordinance, if you look at all them notations where they refer to the state statute, They've been in effect for a long time, and I just don't see how this new ordinance almost mimics the state law and um, how it's going to be enforced. It could have been enforced before, and they just weren't. So, I mean. Again, noted. Can I say something? Uh, <laughs> yes. I just want to say. Um, Yes, that's the state law, but that's always up to interpretation. You have people like Tom that don't feel that that law does, in fact, give the selectmen authority. So you have two schools of thought in town. Half, half the people think that the selectmen have authority over the road commissioners. The other half think they don't right now. I, and I think that's why the board wanted this, if I'm not mistaken, so that it's a you know somebody has you know it's clear where the law is not clear to some no people. i think the, the law is very clear um i didn't bring the folder but if you look at the um mma put out a thing duties of a uh, of a road commissioner and uh some of those articles are in there they're verbatim mm -hmm. it is the state law i mean the state law is it says right in that i think it's uh 401 or 406 that the selectmen have the final say it says right it's very yes. explicit there's no there's no ifs ands or buts about it it says the selectmen have the final say i agree i remember this section very clearly that it says in 
when there is not a charter or an <coughs> ordinance that's overriding it. If there's nothing in place, then the selectmen exactly. have the final say. I, I have read that same thing. Let me make a couple of other points with respect to this. First of all, there are several issues here regarding this ordinance that, that have, have brought this issue before us. Okay, that are not addressed in what's proposed. Let's go to the issue of employer versus employee. The, the version we saw references, um, well, first of all, who employs who here? Okay, are these people employees of the town or are they employees of the employer, the road commissioner? Nothing addresses that issue okay in this in this proposal that has come before us and that's a very important issue because that has been raised and goes to the issue of the creation of the town's quote personnel policy that personnel policy and i have made this issue before and it also applies to the purchase policy are policies of the board of selectmen they are not policies of the town they are placed annually in, in place by the Board of Selectmen. They can be changed at any point in time without coming to the town meeting, and they expire at the end of the term of the board, which is one year from town meeting to town meeting. If the selectmen in their first meeting don't adopt those policies or choose to change them, they have a perfect right to do so. Okay, But the point is they expire at the end of one year. There is no, and here we're incorporating in law something that doesn't exist in perpetuity. Okay, none of those policies exist in perpetuity. If they came to the town meeting and got an ordinance on a town personnel policy, then we might have a town personnel policy, but we don't. Okay. That's one of the issues. Who who's going to who's going to supervise the employees of the road commissioners? Are the selectmen supervised by the road commissioners? Are they employees? Okay. Is the road commissioner a an employee or an elected official? Right here, we sat in this meeting last week, so and Michelle, uh, excuse me, Mr. Chairman. Good points to bring up at the public hearing, possibly. Yeah, let's just vote on it. We're in the process of making a recommendation, Madam, and I am explaining my position why I can vote, not vote in favor of this at this point in time. So that's our business here, okay? Those positions will be brought up at the, town, at, at the hearing if we get there, but those are just a few of them. There's a whole list of whole list of problems here. We should be going back as a first step and looking at what has gone wrong here and why we're in the business of putting this policy together. What has worked well, what has not worked well. If we can define that, then we know where the problems are and what we need to address in an ordinance. But none of that has happened. This has been created behind closed doors, except for one public hearing where our selectmen sat down with the road commissioners and had a brief discussion after the road commissioners had been had this laid before them. There's been no good exchange of information here or ideas. There's, it's just full of holes at this point. It doesn't address. It doesn't solve a problem. I understand. What are we trying to do? <laughs> can I uh, move the question? Can I try to, you know? move us forward sure. i understand that you have severe uh, concerns in regard to the two proposed ordinances right. i just want to try to get past these two ordinances so that we can move on to the rest of the warrant otherwise we're going to be sitting here for the next few hours uh just discussing uh what has gone wrong what's gone wrong is communication right. that's what's gone wrong okay and I understand that, and it's communication on both sides, okay? Not just commissioners, it's communication on both sides. The administration, not administrator. Yes, ma'am. Uh, with the board's permission, I wanted to share with you the legal opinions that we just received today uh, regarding these. Um, if you've been attending the Board of Selectmen meetings or you've been following them, you'll know that last week the board instructed me to get a legal opinion on all of the statutes that are quoted throughout the uh, Road Commission Ordinance. Um, Arnold is 100% right. The first thing the attorney said to me was, you know, all of these things are already state law. You really don't have to put them in there. Uh, the next thing he said is that if you want to spell them out, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it kind of details what someone's job description is. 
but if you want to go that route, you're missing a few. So do I have time to put the other ones in there? Um, or at least put some sort of statement on there um, that covers all of the other areas that might not be listed on there. Um, he thought overall that it was a good ordinance and a good uh, job description to give them some sort of direction. It doesn't cover everything. Um, the personnel policy, which is completely legal, and we have gotten legal opinions on many times over the years that the board have the authority to enact that, do cover the employee, employer, and other pieces. Um, but because there are going to be some changes with the public hearing Monday and, uh, and the Board of Selectmen's meeting, I would recommend that you either um, just make a motion that um, your, you know, your, uh, your recommendations are not available at the time of posting and sort it out on, on town floor. Well, these would be secret ballots, so you really wouldn't have a chance to do that. Or schedule another meeting, because Tom is right in the sense that you don't have a final version in front of you, because there are going to be some minor changes um, once Burke and Clay gets it back to me in the next couple of days. In that case, then I would say that I am going to pass on five and six. And we are going to have another meeting, folks. And it will be determined as to when after we finish this meeting. Could I have the date of the public hearing one more time? Monday, 13th. May 13th at 7 p.m. That's on the website, right? It is, I think. Yes, it is. Yeah. Time again, Jen? 7, 7 p.m. Thank you. There are no changes to the road committee ordinance, however. The board did not instruct me to have legal look at that. Um, after the grant, uh, after the combined meeting with the road commissioners, road committee, the selectmen, my understanding is that everybody um, is in on the same page with it and all in agreement. So if you wanted to vote on that one, you would be welcome to. Uh, those drafts have not changed. The road commissioners or road committee? The road committee oh. is not going to change again unless the board hears something at this second public hearing. But the purpose of the second public hearing is really to give them, give the people a final draft. You know, we, we had a beginning draft. We let everybody chop it up and make changes. We need to have a final so that we can start absentee ballots. And, and Jen, just to set the record straight, I was not saying that the personnel policies are not legal. They certainly are, as long as they're adopted at the beginning of each year. Understood. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Jen, do, uh, is, is there a need for us to act on um, 6A, 7, 8, or no. 9? Based on your ordinance, you do not uh, make recommendations on anything that has to do with electing people. Thank you. Right. Article 10. You're passing on 6? I'm passing on 6. We're going to okay. revisit 5 and 6 at the next one finance meeting, which will be after the public hearing. Possibly we could do it uh, right before or after the selectmen's meeting. I already have people calling about absentee ballots, so I need to get them out. Article 10. Already voted on. Did we? Yes. 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 We approved this. We recommended. I got to go adoption. through. And you guys all have, sorry, Mr. Chairman, you have the uh, recommendations typed into your newest draft, so if you see anything, especially you, Carol, yeah. um, please let me know. Thank you. So... Article 22, we have to revisit. Uh, 14, sir. 14? Is there a star beside your 14? Oh, my God. No. No, 11, they made their motion on with just a lower amount. 11's all set. All right. So 14. 14. Um, the recommendation that, that Warren Finance originally made was to uh, make put the money of tax acquired into municipal undesignated fund after the board reviewed it at their Tuesday selectmen's meeting. They had no problem with that change. So instead of having you guys make a different recommendation, we've just changed the article, Tom, mm -hmm. to put that put that in there. Yep, so if we can revote and have an approve the article as written, just for clarity, that would be helpful. Can I have a motion on? Uh, article to, 14. Motion to approve the article as written and the 566 draft. Any further discussion? <coughs> All those in favor? 6 0. Now we go to 22? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. All right. 22, uh, we wanted that one amended uh, to see if the town will vote to accept revenues received from MEMA, FEMA, 
during the upcoming year, la di da, la di da, la di da. Appropriations shall not exceed the expenditures incurred during the declared event. So this was just a word change. Uh, and the sentence added, so um, uh, I will make a motion to approve the article as drafted. Second. Okay. I have a motion made In and approved, approved and seconded. Excuse me. All those in favor? Any discussion? All those in favor? 6 0. <coughs> Uh, 23. Um, this is a modification of the original article. Uh, the change is the annual renewal is subject to approval of budget at the annual town meeting. Does that meet with anyone's concerns? Yes. I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion that we vote in favor of allowing the Board of Selectmen to negotiate and enter in, into the agreement as described in the article. Second. I have a motion that's been made and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Uh, uh, Susan, well, Susan had a question. Oh, Susan has something to say. Yeah. I'm sorry, Susan. No problem. Um, so anyway, the sheriffs, this is a three-year contract or is it every year? Three-year contract, isn't it? It's a three year. Yeah, it's three. Okay. And last year it was 90000 a year, is that correct? We pay half. Yeah. Pay. I'd have to look at the invoice. I don't have it in front of me. Yeah. But it is. Well, there 90000 is our share. No. No. Correct? No, it wouldn't be that much. Um, I can tell you from my Shapley hat, we actually had a meeting with the sheriff and, city and county manager last Wednesday. Um, they're still in negotiations, but they don't expect more than a 3% increase. And based on the numbers that he presented to Shapley last Wednesday, each half was about 54000 54,000. Right. So I think you're probably thinking of the total number was okay, probably in the so 90s. Now it's up to 100. Right eight. around there. And they're estimating because they're in negotiations with the union. Okay. Now last year, or was it the year before, we had to buy a new cruiser? Uh, we bought it the year before last, yes. Okay. How long did the cruises last? We're, the county hopes to get four years out of it for um, Shapley kind of had the feeling maybe six years. <laughs> it's going to depend It's going to depend on the towns. That's not something the county has any say about. Um, so we really have to deal with it, you know, as the situation comes. We can certainly make him drive it until it dies. Or, you know, it, that's uh, completely up to you guys. But we're hoping at least four to six years. The other thing that I think that we should consider <coughs> is a secret ballot on this. A lot of people are not comfortable voting no with the sheriff standing right there. <laughs> Good point. Something for the board to consider. I can put it on the agenda. I mean, it was, it's not something they'd be able to do until next year because call, <laughs> calling for an order for a secret ballot, um, you probably remember from attending the selectmen's meeting, they have to sign that so many days before the election to the clerk instructing her or him to create the secret ballot, so they've missed that deadline. You and do I that in, in, town floor, Susan. Pardon me? You could, you could do, do a, yeah, you could ask for a secret ballot, you could put, make a make motion. That, you could make yeah. that motion on the floor mm -hmm. of the town for meeting. the article, you could do it by secret ballot there if, you, yeah. if, if it passed. And how much do we pay the county? The county tax? The county. Uh, you're going to like 500,000. Oh, it's, I think that it's 319. One of the articles is in the back. I'm yeah, sorry? It's in the back. It's over it's, three. I want to say it's 319. It's All a little, right. little further on, you'll see it. And that includes uh, services of the sheriff's Correct. department. You would pay that same amount whether you had the deputy or not. Right. And we only have the deputy four hours a day. You have the deputy 20 hours a week. So it's 40 hours um, shared with two towns. So you have them approximately 20 hours a week. So what are they doing above and beyond what the county would have done? Uh, those are good questions for the sheriff's department. I'm really not at liberty to speak on their behalf. <coughs> Nor do you want me to. <laughs> yeah. I would happily get them in. Um, Sheriff King, I'm sure, would love to meet with this board. Uh, as he asked, asked me at the Champlain meeting to reach out to the Acton Selectmen. Um, I'd happy, happily to schedule that if it's something the board gives me direction to do. And it might be good just before town meeting anyway. It's just to have it. Get it on but film. then he's standing there when if people have a vote now. Yeah, but if you make a motion to vote on it by secret okay. ballot, what difference does yeah. that make? The size of the county, he's not. They're not going to. I mean, I, I hear what you're saying, and I, and I get that, and I've heard it before. Um, 
because it's that retribution. I hear what you're saying, Susan. It's certainly possible, and you're not the first resident to say it. Um, making a motion to vote on the article by secret ballot might be, you know, might be a good way to get around that. But I also think it would be helpful for you guys to sit at a round table with the sheriff's department and get some of those questions answered. Before you take a vote on this one here, I would like to uh, thank the selectmen uh, for changing the wording on, on some of these things. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Noted. Makes life better. Uh, one question here. <coughs> Where we appropriate the the actual cost of this in the public safety? In another article, yes. Right, okay. And, and we don't have that number yet? Is that what you... Uh, we have an estimate, yes. We do have a number in the article. Okay. Uh, yep. I, I, yeah. <laughs> it's upcoming, Tom. I know. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't realize that was an estimate. But we have okay. a motion. We have a second. Yeah. Any further discussion? Call for a vote on Article 23. All those in favor of Article 23, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four. All those opposed? It was five. Are you voting yes or no? Virginia? I voted yes. Oh, I'm sorry. So it's five, five one. So sorry, I didn't see your hand, Virginia. My bad. All right. Uh, the next one is Article 25. And. Twenty-four? No, we've voted no. on twenty-four already. Twenty-five. It's twenty-five that we need no. to address. Twenty-five. You wanted to look at again, and I do have some additional information for you, mm -hmm. if you'd like. See if a town will vote for. Raise and appropriate ninety-nine thousand. Or excuse me, ninety-nine nine hundred ninety-three thousand seven hundred dollars for general government for wages, operational costs, and employee benefits. In the following departments. Jennifer, would you care to elaborate on what you have for us? Uh, so one of the things that was mentioned was looking for an amount for uh, the Board of Selectmen less than 3% increase. So the Treasurer did pull those numbers together if it's something you're still looking at. Uh, I think, I hope we addressed the animal control and the need for the equipment and how many years it's been since we've bought anything. Uh, and then the other subject that I heard your concerns on was land use and the equipment. Um, I did speak to the Director of Planning today and asked him kind of where some of those numbers came from and uh, how accurate he felt they were. Um, and he, he basically said that he often puts a lot of items in there as wish lists, but something always seems to happen, a laptop, a table, a tablet, and he never gets to buy them anyway. So it was a rough estimate knowing that his, his office equipment needs to be increased. Uh, that was just a wish list. But he says for the last X amount of years, it's run very close and tight based on the amount of planning board hearings they have and applicants. You know, they're very color-coded and organized down there. They like things a certain way. Um, and it's just the, the need of the office. What about the gym? Mm. Um, the gym. We talked about the we gym did. and uh, whether it's, it's not self-sufficient. Yep. We're subsidizing it. We are. Um, we did not put that on the Board of Selectmen's agenda on Tuesday, and that was probably a, a, my mistake. They had um, quite a few other things. We'll certainly put it on for tomorrow. Um, I think that speaking to them individually, I think they would consider raising the rates to make it more um, self-covering. Um, you just got to be careful when you make motions on these kind of articles because you're going to, you can make a motion to raise and appropriate a certain amount less. Right. But it says for the, you know, for the following departments, they can, I mean, unless you zero out a department, they can move it within other lines. Do you know what I mean? So there's no guarantee, I don't want you to leave this meeting guaranteeing that we'll be able to cover all of the expenses. Um, I think that they'll, they'll increase the numbers, but... Has, has the liability insurance gone up because of it? The, uh... No, the liability hasn't gone up yet. Um, they have given us a list of things, if you've been at the selectmen's meetings, that they want changed. Um, we're in the process of doing that. Uh, to be honest with you, until we have some more um, hours on some of our office assistants, it's just not real top priority. You know, they want us to do a lot more things to keep that gym running. There was some talk about the rec possibly taking it over. Um, 
but there's really no incentive for them to do that because then you're just, you've got one more department for us to kind of oversee what they're doing. I still have to give them all those forms and make sure they're doing this. You know what I mean? There's no incentive for the rec to do it. Um, so I'm really hoping that um, everybody's paid through June 30th, so I'm hoping to close it for a couple of weeks in July, get through 4th of July and really focus if the extra hours on the office assistance are approved in buckling down on everything the insurance company wanted. Roughly about how many active people are use it now? With the exempt, the exempt fire and rescue, um, maybe 40, 40 to 50. And that's families. It's hard to tell because you don't <laughs> know who's going in there. You don't know how many fire people or rescue you know people are actually utilizing the facilities you have a certain amount of paying individuals well they have they're supposed to have signed releases even if they're exempt I understand they that, have to have a sign release signs in and out of the gym right. so you don't really know how many people are using the gym and that's some of the things and the, and the other thing that the town can think about um, if you know if that piece of it gets to be a problem as far as you know the gym key just being passed down you know so that people aren't paying the fees which I think kind of has happened their term their um, memberships expire and the keys don't change so they just never come in and renew it is maybe every July 1 you know spending X amount of dollars and changing the lock every year so that that can't happen that just adds more money to something you're already subsidizing well, but we would not, increase it in you know. in the membership fee somehow Yes, Tom. Oh, she, she said 40 people, but it's actually 40 families, so there could be... Um... Again, nobody knows for sure yeah. how many people are actually utilizing the gym. There's no head count. I have 40 to 50 signed I understand. How many people pay? Honestly, I'd have to get you the numbers. I mean... No. Because no. when you get... That's the important number. It's really not worth... I think no, when we looked about. when we looked at when Michelle and I looked at it after last week's meeting, we were about a thousand dollars away from it paying for itself. We looked at with direct it, cost. Correct. With Not just, indirect cost. Correct. With just the um, we're only paying out electricity and heat. Fuel oil. Yep. So we we took that into what's come into the account. It was about a thousand dollars difference that comes from the taxpayer. I think yes, Tom. It's worth, um, Try to break even. Give, give us a year. Try to break even um, so that we're not losing money. But I, I don't think it's fair that because you guys don't use it, that you should close it. I'm not saying close it. Well, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying close it at all, Elise. Right. I'm okay. just saying, like, you know, it used to sustain itself. That's right. right. Like the key issue. Right, and it, depending on what you decide to do, and I, and I hate to play both sides, but even if you just, even if you decided to cut, shut it down July 1, until you appropriate money and figure out what you're going to do with it, we're still going to have to heat it because it's a town building and we don't want anything to freeze in there. So you know, I'm not sure how quickly we could get that done. But I agree. I mean, the board can raise the price a, a minimal amount and probably get it to pay for itself. What fee are you looking at? I'm sorry? What kind of fee are you looking at? Well, right now, um, as we talked about last week, Fire and Rescue is exempt. Um, that's where we left off. We tried to find a copy of the grant because there was some talk about could we possibly get our first responders to pay maybe a prorated fee right. or a smaller fee. Um, I've gone through all the town files. Um, I've asked I contacted the, the person who wrote the grant, and she has, she's moved so many times she doesn't have a copy. And it was done in 2003. And I asked so. the fire chief as well. Yeah. So nobody has a copy of the grant, which, I mean, I hate to say it this way, that means that nobody's going to be able to question it. So the board can either decide to put a fee on fire and rescue in first responders, maybe a smaller fee just to cover a little bit of the expenses. Um, currently, it's $10 for employees or people that sit on committees, so maybe that goes up to 20 and then maybe the $20 um, goes up to 30 for the um, you know non-employees and non-committee um, members. Yes, Tom. There may be another option here to uh, partially subsidize this, uh, and that is um, through the health insurance programs that our, our permanent employees have over in the fire stations. You know, no, many insurance companies do provide funding for their personnel to attend the gym. So our fire people and rescue people may be able to come up with money from their insurance companies uh, that we're paying for anyway. So that's something to look at. Yeah, it's certainly, and a lot of people do make sure they get receipts so that they can take them back. I can tell you that town hall staff, nobody uses the gym, so we wouldn't be able to, but, um, and the two permanent members that we have at the fire station don't use our insurance, but not to say their own insurance wouldn't cover it, so 
that certainly, you know, when I spoke to the fire chief last week too, and I feel like one of the selectmen was with me when I called, um, he has, says he has a very low amount of people using it, and then if we moved it over there, he thought they'd use it more, but he says there's not a lot of interest with his departments, so. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. Long. I make a motion to appropriate, I mean, uh, to raise 989100 and appropriate 993700 the difference being the 4600 from the gym and the gym to stay open must be self-sufficient. Can you just give me that first number again, please? To, to raise 989,100 and appropriate 993,700. 989. And you want to specify, Dennis, what department that you want to zero out for the minute? Yes, the, the town gym. 10202. And it needs, if, if, if right. I, I don't know about uh, how to get in that I'm all right with the gym being open as long as it's self-sufficient. You know, I, I don't know how that. Yeah, I don't think that really needs to be part of it. I mean, if there's no money appropriated, there's nothing. I mean, they're not even going to. They're not even going to be able to pay the heat bill if they decide to close it. So that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Just, well, no, I, I think if you take all the money out of it and, and the board decides to close it, and let's, I know there's been talk about possibly putting it, uh, making it a parking lot, you know, tearing it down. Yeah. you got to remember that there's no money in this warrant to do that. So we would need at least the winter. In the appropriation there is, Jen. To tear the building down? No, no. To operate it. So he, the motion was to raise 989-100, but to appropriate 993-700. Well, right, we, we would appropriate the 4,600 with um, memberships. Is that yeah. right? That's what I so that's thought. what I'm saying. So let's just say we don't have any memberships because they close it down July 1. How am I going to pay the heating bill this winter? How do you pay your heating bills for all the other? They're in these individual lines. But if we zero that one out to have no money in it, I gotta run. My son-in-law's business business is on fire. What is? My son-in-law's business. Oh, no. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, sure. I think. Brentwood. Huh? In Brentwood. It's Brentwood, it's Brentwood New Hampshire. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, um, equipment. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen, and I think that the, the current people um, on it will will take an increased membership to keep it open, and I think that'll be the direction of the board. But I just wanted to put that out there for clarity. It's always a possibility. We can. Uh, we I mean, can. I'll withdraw my motion. I mean, I didn't get a second anyway. Well, I. But, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I I would consider seconding it. I, I mean, we can come back and revisit this if if. Uh, uh, we can revisit it on the floor of the town meeting, and we can revisit it after that and before next winter if the need arises, and another path is found forward. I mean, my motion was still to appropriate that dollar amount. Right, but we were only, I mean, my, my, right. I could be misunderstanding, but we can only appropriate that if we get the money from memberships, right? That, right. Okay, that, yeah. That, that, that was my, right. that was my intent. So I guess what happens, and I'm just kind of talking to you guys as, you know, with a lot of municipal experience that, that you guys have, what happens, let's say, um, you know, July, August, September, you know, I'm able to, memberships are enough to cover 2,000. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to know what, you know, so as the bills come in, I'm only going to pay what I have for memberships. Right. So they could, you know, some people could pre-sign up for the entire year, but if I don't have enough to pay those last couple of electric bills... I'm going to have to refund their money. And close it. And close it. E either yeah. that, either that, or we reconvene. We'd have to have a special, special town, town meeting. meeting, which we'll probably have anyway, and and we can move then to uh, resolve the issue if uh, if uh, if a path hasn't been found forward. I mean, I'm not trying to close the gym. I'm no, just no. trying to make it self-sufficient. Make it self-sufficient, yeah. which it historically never has been. Right. Mr. Chairman, I, I'll, I'll second Dennis's motion, and uh, we have a motion. And it has been seconded. Carol, could you read the motion, please? <laughs> <coughs> to see if the town will vote to raise $989,100 and zero out account 
and appropriate 993700 for general government for wages, operational costs, and employee benefits for the following departments. I have one question. I hate to be technical. But Give it to it's me. All the years of Tom. So what happens if we if we double up the prices? We double up the amounts, and we're able to appropriate. You know, we're able to raise the money. The electricity or the oil goes high, and let's say I have fifty two hundred dollars in, um, you know, in memberships and fifty two hundred dollars in heating and electricity bills. If we're only appropriating. What, you know what I mean? I guess I'm just trying to figure out how that would work. Yeah, yeah, and we don't know. I mean, th this is all in a state of flux, and we're going to have to revisit the issue. Uh, <laughs> there are several suggestions here before us as to how to proceed, and um, we're n we can't resolve them today. So we're going to walk away with a with a thing that says, "Okay, here's the problem. So we're going to solve it, and we'll solve it when the when the need arises." Can I make a suggestion? I belong to another gym, and they. I had to give them one of my checks and, and sign something that says that they can go into my account every single month and take my membership. Why couldn't you do something like that? Well, you know you're getting paid. Well, people prepay. They do prepay, but it's up to them to decide if they want to cancel it. So if you decided to join the gym, you would have the option of three months, six months, or the full fiscal year. So we are prepaying. We are pre-collecting for all of that. The problem is, is that they come in at all staggered times to sign up. We never know what's going to happen the remainder of the year. You know, we have a group of, of uh, winter people that like to come to it. You know, the gym kind of dies out in the summer because it's nice out. So it just fluctuates so much. But we are pre-collecting. It's just we don't hold people to the full year because they just might not want to use it that long. I think if we make people aware moving forward that there's a possibility it's going to close, we're going to find a resolution pretty quickly because those who are interested are going to work to seek a resolution. Yeah. We're not there yet, so uh, I think this is fine to move forward with. Is that motion seconded? We have a motion that has been seconded. Yes. <clears throat> Any further discussion? Can I get a vote on Article 25? All those in favor of the motion as made and read by Carol, please raise your hands. Okay, uh, six. Six zero. Yeehaw. Right. Moving along. Um, the next article that we have to visit is Article Thirty. Oh no, excuse me. Okay. Twenty eight. Twenty eight was just clarity so that you could see that we did uh, change the wording for the conversation. I don't think you need to do anything with it because you did put that in your motion. Uh, but that was just to show you that we did make that change in the article. Thank you. Moving along. Oh, Lord have mercy. 32. Where are we? <coughs> 32. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Article 32. <sighs> to see if the town will vote to pay wages and equipment for repair and maintenance of public ways according to the following schedule. I waive, waive the reading. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a motion that we pay wages and equipment at state rate plus 15 percent. That covers basically everything there. Yep. I have a motion to approve the article. The motion is to pay state rate plus 15%. Plus 15 15%. Can I get a second? Second. I have a motion that's been made and seconded. Any further discussion? Yeah, I'd like to know how much difference if we go to the state rate are these figures here going to change They're on this piece of paper? I mean, dramatically, or just a little bit? Or uh, some of the stuff. No idea. Virginia, the... the um, Some are dramatic. Wait, didn't somebody hand out a comparison? Yeah, yeah and Shapley's maybe online as well. Did they do state rate. Wasn't this what they always did? Uh, they used to, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Some was right in line, some of us a little low, some of us a little bit high. Um, the, the biggest stuff, the excavation stuff, is right in line. The, uh, the trucks are kind of high. Uh, the the <laughs> chainsaw and stuff like that is low. Uh, you know, the personal equipment. Uh, I think that um, you really won't be able to see the overall difference until you've done it for a year because you don't know how many hours of each thing is going to be used. Well, Chapley's been doing this for quite a while. We used to do it. Have we considered whether the two current road commissioners might look at this and go, not, not, don't want it, not doing it? Oh, I'm sure they have. What you think they they've already... Oh, what's that? You think they've already decided whether or not they could... Uh, when, with when we talked to... Um, David Langley. Yeah. Uh, he didn't seem happy at the time. Well, he said we need to have this conversation. Um, Joel Letourneau didn't, we didn't get it that far, I guess, with him on the rates. Um, th there's just some things in here that we're paying for that is, is outrageous. The prices that we're paying for stuff. Uh, a mowing tractor, for example, forty dollars an hour. All right, so at least that, there's been some conversation. Crazy. So they're not going to feel like they've been totally blindsided. Well, no, no. I mean, we've had this conversation <coughs> that uh, we did it when we met with the road commissioners. Yeah. Uh, they're not here to talk about it tonight, but I don't know what. And remember, I mean, that's why you have town floor. Those discussions can happen there. It's just a recommendation of the majority of how you feel, and you know, these, these all these points can be. Yeah, these rates were approved at the June uh, 2017 meeting. Uh, 18. 18. Last year's meeting. 17 and 18. I think the only. 18. Yeah, the only increase um, Michelle said was the labor one. Sorry to interrupt. The and labor. Were they approved at the 18 to 19 town meeting as well? Yes. Yes. That's what we're working on now. Uh, Wharton Finance recommended five, five to zero on those rates when they went up. Okay. It was at the same time that the commissioners wanted um, a stipend. A stipend and their insurance. 10, 10, 20% increase in hourly pay. Okay. That's when the <coughs> hourly that, rate went up. With that being said, they didn't get their stipend, but you increased the rates. So they ended up getting the money anyway. It just shows in a different spot. Um, the, the labor rates, for example, um, that was changed two or three years ago mm -hmm. uh, for the CDL slash operators. Mm -hmm. uh, th this whole thing is, is just, it's, it's wacky. If I work for the town, and this is the way it's been working, and I'm going to mow bushes side the road, okay? I'm going to get between $12 and $18 an hour. If somebody has a CDL license doing the same job, they're going to get $22 an hour. That doesn't make any sense. I know. It shouldn't happen either. I mean, I didn't agree with <laughs> no, I'm just no, saying. If, if, you're, thing, if you're a CDL driver and you're driving, if you're the CDL, if, if you're a CDL driver possible. and you're driving a dump truck, a triaxle dump truck, great. You need to be paid CDL rate. If you're a, if you're a CDL driver and you're driving a tractor mowing grass on the side of the road, you shouldn't be paid CDL rate. Screw that. So well, I'm just saying it's happened and our rates are messed up. <laughs> Move the question, please. Can I just ask for a quick question for clarity? So, Dennis, with your motion state rate plus 15%, is all of the other wording other than the rates, part, you're going to leave those as far as the wages to be paid a time and a half and then going on to the cutting edges and the cost of operation, are you okay with all that? Yep. It's just the numbers themselves on the equipment and wages. The equipment, and I, I, I guess I should have said that wasn't, no, I just wanted that to make wasn't sure you, the wages. No, well, you said wages and equipment. You said wages and equipment. Uh, I apologize. So you meant just equipment? Yes. Just okay. equipment. So, Carol, you want to read it back for me? Just 
adding a couple words for him. He keeps changing it along the way. Well, I'm know? sorry. So I think it's just general <laughs> equipment old. he wants state rate. <laughs> <laughs> Focus. <laughs> general equipment you want state rate times okay, 15. Okay, so the motion is uh, for the town to pay State rate plus 15% on rate equipment. plus 15% on equipment only. Yeah, and I would probably even specify. I, I, it needs to be more yeah. specific. So, so general equipment the town and will, okay, to vote to pay wages as written, um, as, hold on. As described above, or below. Hello. I would just use those words general equipment and uh, winter road maintenance equipment just like they're in the article so that it's very clear in five years when someone's looking at it. Right. So make a, he made a motion to approve the article as written with the exception of general equipment and win winter road maintenance equipment which will be paid at state rates times 15%. Good. What about summer that's equipment? Good. If that's what everybody's happy with the wording then that's exactly what my motion is. Well it's clear in the article if the, if yeah. if we, if the words reference the same. Yeah. So Can I get a second on that motion? Second. Motion's been made and seconded. All those in favor, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, zero. 32 is recommended to approve. As stated by Jennifer. <laughs> As Dennis, I just cleared it up for him. Thank you, Jen. Okay. All right. Does that mean we got to go to 33 now? Yes. Halfway there. No, Dar. <laughs> Let me read it for you. Read. To see if Please. the town will vote to raise $263,506 and appropriate $288,728 with $25,222 to be appropriated from the state LRAP funds received for servicing and reconstruction of four District 1 roads to be expended as follows. I make a motion that Article 33 passes as written. Approved have, as written, I'm sorry. Have a motion been made to approve the article as written? Second. Yes, Tom? Second. Motion's been seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, can I get a vote on Article 33? All those in favor? Susan? Yep, just go to All right, yeah. um, six zero. Move on. Down, I knew you Damn, I'm there. sorry. <laughs> My head don't move that fast. <laughs> Article thirty four. To see if the town will vote to raise two hundred and sixty eight thousand five hundred and six dollars and appropriate two hundred and ninety three thousand seven hundred and twenty eight dollars with twenty five thousand two hundred and twenty two to be appropriated from the state LRAP funds received for re for surfacing and reconstruction of District Two roads. I make a motion. Article 34 ought not to pass until the road commissioner presents a line item budget uh, to the Board of Selectmen. Um, and I'll talk about it after somebody's seconds it or don't second it. Second, I'll second it. I have a motion that's been made and seconded. The, the, the special town meeting we had back uh, the end of November uh, to uh, raise some money to, for the roads. The selectmen said at that meeting that we wouldn't have problems in the future because everybody's going to have to do a line item budget. Uh, that's what the selectmen told the people. And you know they didn't get one from District 1 either, right? Just just so you know. Yeah. Uh, they didn't get one from District 1 or 2. Before well, you... they might not have got one from District 1, but District 1 had an explanation when the Warren Finance Committee uh, talked with him. And, and myself personally, I did most of the talking, asking what the money was for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And District 1 explained it. Uh, and I appreciate the. I just, yeah, I just want to make sure that so that it's not called on you guys because district to use that reason, and I'm not agreeing or disagreeing. Just looking at the other side, we didn't get anything from District One either, so that's. Mm -hmm. But I guess my issue is, 
we got an explanation from District 1, so maybe but, we but we got no explanation from District 2. What did they explain to you? What, sorry. What was the explanation? You from verbal, District 2? You got a verbal? A 1. 1. You said you got an explanation? Yes, at our meeting when we was, when we was asking one. questions, yeah. What did he say? Where he's gonna where he's gonna spend the money, for example. Uh, or does he, know? he oh <laughs> he hasn't told them, so that's okay. what he's saying. <laughs> uh, he was gonna spend his resurfacing money down on West Shore Drive, for example. He was gonna chip seal that road, uh, the three miles. And that would take up his paving money. Uh, and there was some culverts that he explained. Going to be the road commissioner either way. Commissioner next year, so. I, I appreciate that, but he had a plan. He sat down with somebody. So did the previous district too that never got done. Uh, can we meet in? That's fine. Can we? And I'm just a question. Can we meet in the middle? And t if you're going to meet, um, I'm assuming next week to go over the two road articles after the ordinances are done. Can we? Before you put a negative motion out there, can we bring him in one last time to maybe better explain it? Because I, Mr. Lashano, I know that you know he is fairly new in the position, and he, you know, quite honestly, probably didn't doesn't know exactly in the middle of winter where he was going to where he was going to spend his money because, you know, he started plowing the roads until the the snow was clear and the ice was gone. He doesn't know the condition of every road, so he might not have been ready to make a recommendation to you. But now that there's a few months of clear roads. I'm thinking he's got a plan. I'm hoping he's got a better plan. So would you consider revisiting just that one other article? And if I bring him that, that's before fine, you? Jan, but I said we had our meeting with him, what, two weeks ago? The Warren of Finance? Yeah. And was he here? It was longer than that. He was. Yes. So, wait, so he did come. So what did, I wasn't, I don't think I came. That was the one long, I jumped out of. How long would it take him to put together an initial draft? Okay, and what was so his? we would have something. He never pinned it down. Right. And I think Dave Langley said he was going to, Try to help them yeah, and, that, and I'm, I'm certainly not standing up for anybody. I don't get in the middle of these town, these town employees and politics. I don't. But remember, I mean, he stepped in in the middle of winter when the seat was open. He is learning and trying to figure it out. I just give me one more chance to bring him before you and see if he's got a better plan, and then you can make whatever recommendation. I just hate to see you make a recommendation based on no line item if we didn't get one from District One either. Exactly. Then we should pursue that as well. I mean, if the board of selectmen don't know. What, what Mr. Williams was talking about, or have a piece of paper with it on there. <coughs> I'm not going to say it's okay for one, but not for two. Mm. Right. They both need to be hold, held. And well, I think to Dennis's defense, I mean, Langley probably just, he was able to better explain it and spell it out on what his intentions were. So verbally, that was easier, I'm sure, to understand. Because he's got more history in it, working with the city of Sanford. He knows how to use his words a little better. No offense to Joe, you know what I mean? In explaining that, I just think Joe's still trying to figure it out. Well, we can't guarantee that the new, select, uh, the new road commissioner is right. going to want to do that. He may pick something different, or she. I think the point yeah, is that there the was a plan to, to come up with a number. We should have a meeting with the two road commissioners. Okay. Um, That's up to us. And skip these because the line items that were given, I'm not happy. I want to see projects with a line item. In it. Not like this much on no way, no, this much on. So no tell me, uh, just answer this quick, quick question for me, Elise. Tell me how Dave Langley can give you a project list because he's not even going right. to be the road commissioner. And that, he said we have a list of the success that comes in after him. At least we'll have something that, they, that they can completely ignore if they so choose. I know because they're elected. Okay, I just want to make sure. Right, you know. Like I don't have a problem with revisiting these two articles. So who do I bring in in regards to 33? Because you've got valid points. I mean, David is, is saying it all and, and can explain what he would do, but... But you could say raise, but not appropriate until a, a project list is produced. Which was uh, something we discussed. Uh, right. District, District 1, you did that, they did that at an annual town meeting last we year, We did right? that, that, well, that wasn't last year. That yeah. was the year ago. before. I believe yeah, because last year, last year yeah. Dr. Williams, right? I don't Dr. Know. Williams made the motion at the town meeting, and I so, don't remember exactly what the motion was, but it was very specific that you know a certain amount of money could be approved, right, and he but had nothing it. could be spent until. <laughs> so, how about the board? If you withdraw your 33 motion and let the board revisit these both tomorrow night.
and see if they want to put some sort of clause in there, including the line item. See if they can adjust the wording some. Is line item the right word, or is it a plan, like a... Um, we could do just a plan, so it's not tying them. Plan. plan. Uh, alternately... Like a detailed plan or something like that. Yes, Tom. Uh, when this, when the road commissioners were here, where there has, there was considerable discussion, as you have referred to, that terminated with a decision that David and Joe were going to get together, and David was going to assist Joe, yeah. and they would come back with something to us. Yeah. Okay, so I'm happy with just tabling this for tonight, seeing if you can get something together, and if they don't come back, then we can proceed on the basis that we're going to, we're, we'll, we'll raise, but we won't appropriate until we see what we're looking for. And it should be a plan. Can I get a motion to withdraw the vote on Article 33? I'll make a motion, because I have to, because I'm the one that made the Correct. recommendation. I'll make a motion to withdraw. Can I get a second? I think I seconded it, so I'll, I'll yeah. withdraw. Myself. All those in favor? <clears throat> so those are tabled for tonight. So 33 and 30. 34 will be revisited at our next meeting. Mr. Chair. Yes. Mr. Lyon. I am just going to put this out there. That we have voted as a town meeting uh, amount of money and we've been told for many years by road commissioners that we're road commissioners, we're going to continue being road commissioners, that they were going to do this project, they were going to pave here, they were going to fix this road and fix that road. And they've told the town meeting that. Many times it has not happened. So myself personally, this is where I'm coming from, I'm not for giving the road department any money, regardless, until we know where the money's going to go. And it should be specified in the article. These are these are these are basically um, well, no, these are maintenance items. But uh, that, that's where I'm coming from, and I'm going to take it. Uh, the town floor. Well, I'll even probably pass that. I don't know how many years I got left, but uh, I know I'm on borrowed time. So I hear you, Dennis. Noted. Thank you. Can we move on to thirty-six? Five. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Excuse me. Bad eyes, I keep telling you. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $184,063 for shared road accounts to be expended as follows. I move that we accept the article as written. Second. Who seconded that, Tom? I did. Yeah. Tom did. What are we spending $21,000 on the Public Works building? I had that question, too. <laughs> I just have a question. Yeah. No. I'm going to say that it's, uh, do you have your budget book in front of you? I think, yeah. <laughs> there, so electricity, obviously, which is a small portion. I'm, let me... There was a repair of the roof. Yeah, there was... And there was having a service contract to uh, service the... Uh, overhead door. Overhead, overhead doors. doors. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Noted. Looking... It's equipment. What is it? Equ equ roads, equipment, blades, signs, etc. Oh, that's where she pays that out of. Repair, maintenance, that's the roof, um, electricity, and then I'm not sure what the labor is for five hundred dollars. Is that the? Stock it could be somebody room? putting up the stockpile. I would imagine that small amount. Do we have a motion? Yeah, we did. We do we have yeah. a second? Yeah. yeah. Any further discussion? Yes. Go ahead, Dennis. It was. Um, I'm not sure it was officially said but having a conversation with Mr. Walsh. It was, it was a conversation that we spend about $20,000 a year for a loader down there at the start pile. And I thought there was gonna be a warrant article in here to, um, for the town to buy a loader. Uh, and then, because in the last 10 years, we spent $200,000 down there for a loader. And obviously, it'd be in the town's best interest for the town to buy a loader. Uh, I assume that would be put off till another year. I can put it on the agenda tomorrow night, Dennis, to ask them. I don't think I'm, that's the first I've heard of it. And the ladies. Um, you've brought it up before. Yeah. In the workshop. Yeah. But has, at the podium. has Ed mentioned it? 
We haven't really discussed it in detail. Um, He's probably just talked to me on the side about it. Yeah, you know, I think I, it's a great idea. I don't I just think it's definitely. So let's put it on for tomorrow night and discuss it. Further. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Can I get a vote on Article 35? All those in favor of Article 35, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Moving on. I'm going to get through all these tonight, one way or another. <laughs> All right, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $10,000 for preliminary <coughs> inspection and or design of three culverts on the following, found on the following, H Road, Goose Pond Road, <coughs> and West Shore Drive. I move we... Can I get a motion? I move we accept Article 36 as written. Can I get a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded in any discussion. Hearing none. All those in favor of approving Article 36 as written, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Article 37, to see if the town will vote to establish, pursuant to 30A MRS Section 58011, a capital improvement reserve fund for the repair and or replacement of bridges and culverts and to raise and appropriate the sum of $25,000 for the same. I move we accept Article 37 is written. Have a motion that's been made? Second. Have a motion that's been seconded. Any further discussion? Yes, Tom. I have some questions here. Uh, was my understanding that this was going to be for engineering, preliminary engineering on some of these, uh, where there was going to be an inspection conducted or something of that sort? No, that was for 36. Mm, for the culverts. 37 is to start um, saving for the bridge repairs that are coming up on row and canal. And the possible culverts that need to be replaced on the roads described in Article 36. Well, I, I think we should say that then. If you're going to create, actually this is not an appropriate use for this type of an account. Okay, and I will go to specifically the wording specific in this in a minute. Um, uh, in order to create a reserve account, uh, a capital improvement reserve account, the, the, the capital improvement must be specifically described. And uh, that is not the case here. Okay? Um, I can go back and we can go over to where, what specific means. It okay. means as specified. Can and can at, can big, go backwards? Beg your pardon? I know you, you're, I saw the list, but what I'm saying is, I'm going to tell you what it is for, and you tell me how it should be worded. It is to replace, it's to start saving, right. replace canal, yep. replace row. Right. They're going to be about a half a million dollars each. Yep. And then, the yep. I'm not sure what the cost of the culverts are, but they will cost quite right. a bit of money. The easiest way to do this is simply to delete sure, sure, the reference to the uh, to MRSA and just have a town municipal like any other carried account, <coughs> reserve account. It's messed up because of the inclusion of the reference to the law, okay, because it doesn't comply with the law. Would you okay. like to remove pursuant to 30-A MRS, MRS section 58011? Establish a capital improvement reserve fund. I will make a motion that we that we delete from this article the following, beginning with pursuant to, and then ending with section five eight zero one a one in parentheses. And it's just been a cap. It's just a regular capital improvement fund that we're creating, and that we should include in this article what that specifically is for. To the yeah, to Mr. Chairman, you have to vote on the original motion first. And the original motion was? To approve the article. To approve the article as written. And if I could just say that the treasurer has sent this article to May Municipal, the Board of Selectmen saw the response, and they helped her write this the way it's worded. That's what I was going to say. That I'm not going to get that. That was stated at one of our other meetings there. 
these articles in recommend, MMA recommended. Right. Them. We didn't write these. That was their recommendation, and we're not. We certainly don't want to get into the the history and the back and forth. Um, but the board is not going to change the wording of this article. You can certainly your recommendation is appreciated, but that MMA wrote that based on what they know the board wants needs to do with the money. It's also true that I submitted a request to the treasurer last week to follow up on that definition and get uh, something back from MMA, uh, specifically with respect to the wording in the in the in the state law, and nothing became of that request which I made last week. You made it via email. I made it via email to Michelle, and um, it found its way onto the town web servers. It's it's in there. So wait, say that again? So you sent her an email asking for that? Right. And she didn't reply? No, I've heard nothing back <laughs> from that request. Well, it's only a week. Maybe she doesn't have an answer yet. Mm -hmm. No, I believe she sent it to legal because she, I believe she sent it to the board if that's the same article. Tom, um, I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying. I know that. I just, I just, we had a motion on the... I, I, and I wanted to make sure if everybody wants to vote down my motion, you can, uh, whatever you guys want. Let me, uh, what was the motion originally for Article 37? Approve as written. Approve as written. Yeah. And it was seconded? It was it a seconded? Is that correct? Was the motion seconded? Yes. yes. Arnie seconded it. Arnie seconded it. Who made the motion originally? Dennis. Dennis, do you want to withdraw your motion? I... Yeah. I guess so. No, I don't. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. All right. If you guys don't agree with it, you can vote my motion down. All right. I got a motion, and it's been seconded. Any further discussion? I have a comment. Oh, you please. have a comment. Speak. Yeah. Um, please. Since there's more than just canal and road bridges in this town, I think it should specify which bridges we're talking about. Right. What you're trying to, what the article's intent is, is to establish an account to put money in yeah. to, so that when it comes time to make a repair to the road bridge, we will have some money. Or any other bridge. Or any other bridge. Oh, all right. I thought uh, this not, money was just for these two bridges. So. No. 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 The, the condition of these two bridges is what made us con consider we need to do something because... There's no money currently in the budget for, for any bridge. replacement of bridges. But yeah. if, okay. if you don't specify, then God forbid another bridge. You could use it there. How many other bridges do we have? I don't know. How many bridges do we have? West Shore. What, I know there's so four. And then four. Four or five. Mm -hmm. um, four. Can we ask Cindy? And four. four. Thank you. But those are two major, two major bridges. If they close, they'll be a, yeah, all the pay in town. And in response to Tom, real quick, so the treasurer did reply, and she's replied to WF one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and she's included main municipal. So you guys already all should have seen this because it was sent um, a couple of weeks ago. But I have it again. Uh, so she did reply to the email. No, the, the, this was my email four twenty five. I said last week, and I will read it so everybody's aware of what the request was. Response. Right. I request that you seek further clarification of Article 37 wording from MMA. Title 30A, Section 5801 defines a capital improvement account as, quote, financing the acquisition or reconstruction of a specific or type of capital improvement. Okay. I, in order for something to be specific, that means as specified. For something to be as specified, you have to have a specification. And a specification is a legal definition or a description adequate to include in a contract. That's its legal definition. Okay, so that that's part of the problem here, is that framework. The other part of the problem here is that if we do create this as a statutory reserve account, now that can be spent at any point in time without any further consideration by the town meeting. Okay? And it doesn't have to be carried. So the difference between having a regular town um, reserve account is that every year it has to be carried, and in order to be expended, it has to have an appropriation by the town meeting based on a plan, presumably. If we go this route, we have no description of what we're buying. How many culverts okay. are in town? How many what? Culverts. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, a lot. Hundreds. Yeah. 
All right. Let's put this to rest. <laughs> you can vote your conscience. I'm calling the question, which means no further discussion. All those in favor of the article as written, please raise your hands. I have three. Yes. All those opposed? I don't know one way or the other. I have one. No. I can't. Can't what? I abstain. <laughs> you abstain because you're on the road committee? No? You're not on the road committee, are you? Not on the road committee. So, why? It's the basis right. of your abstention, please. I'm conflicted. <laughs> Yeah. How's that? You're confounded. You're specific also known as wishy-washy. You it. just don't have a legal reason to abstain. That's what May Municipal says. But again, and, I, and I'm not trying to go back and forth with Tom, because okay. you can argue this on town floor, but Richard Flewellen from May Municipal wrote the article, and I can read you the email from them, and they're the ones that have to defend it at the end of the day. Hi, Michelle. I would probably more closely pair with the statute to say, to see if the town will vote to establish, he writes the article for her, Richard Flewellen, senior staff attorney at May Municipal. I'm not saying he's wrong, but I'm saying that's all we have to go by. He, I'm not that's the wrong. only thing that I, I mean, I'm not voting tonight, but um, the only thing I can say is there are a lot of culverts in town, and I would hate to, you know, have a, a list of culverts attached to this article, and then a culvert on a road or, you know, that's not listed there. Well, that's not why there's no names on there, so that's, God forbid that's if I'm there saying, is like, right. I think you're really limiting the point of this account is... Well, and I don't think Tom's questioning that. He doesn't like the way it's worded, which is understood. Well, I, I, that, that's part of it. The, uh, so, so I have an issue with the wording. I have the issue with the inclusion of the reference to statute because it allows that money to be spent without authorization of the town meeting for something that we have no idea what it's going to be spent for. Pertaining to bridges and culvert. But it would have to be repair or replacement of a bridge or a culvert. Or bridge or culvert, yeah. Right. Okay. So it's, I mean, you know, it's, uh, there's no plan here. We're being asked to set money aside, and I have a philosophical objection to that. I don't... And remember last year you appropriated money for road bridge, the engineering that was that is being spent as we speak, and that bridge is going to need some serious work. So the only reason that they added culverts into it is, you know, it's possible that you have some sort of disaster and we can fix a culvert here or there prior, you know, while we're saving up for a bridge. And we get in the same spot as we were a couple of years ago when we found out we had all dead breathing apparatuses and had to replace them all at once because the there, there wasn't understanding of what was being spent for what. So you voted no, to correct, Tom? That's yeah. correct. You guys kind of need to vote. And I have... I'm going to vote yes. Dennis voted yes. And Arnie was the other abstention. And Arnie? I'll vote yes. yes. So now I have five to one. Mr. Chamberton, you just not it just eliminate the word culvert and say bridges? Nope. <laughs> well, they could in their motion, but there was already a motion on the floor. <laughs> you can do that if you'd like at the town meeting. Right. However, the selectmen have said that they are going to take this article as written. So we made a vote on the article as written. Uh, let's That's see. 36, please. Yeah, let me look into it. I'm sorry. Number 38, 38, excuse me. To see if the town will appropriate from fiscal year 20 franchise <coughs> fee revenues the sum of $34,443 for wages and operational costs of the Acton Public Access TV, also known as APAT. Can I get a motion on Article 38? I'll make a motion to accept Article 38 as written. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? I'm going to make one comment concerning the APAT. I don't think he's asked for enough money. After a discussion with one of his individuals that operates the cameras, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, that whole panel in there needs to be ripped out and replaced. So I would encourage that employee to go to the department head because that's not the same story we get from him. I understand that. I understand that. I'm just saying, I think 
that APAT should have requested more money. They can't request more than they're going to appropriate from the franchise fees. And right now, we feel like with a lowered amount, this is probably only going to have $100 or two wiggle room. Okay. And with the selectmen now um, filming workshops, we may be cutting things to film at the end of the year. My comments on record. I'm just giving you, I'm trying <laughs> to you. answer you. <laughs> Any other discussion on Article 38? Hearing none, all those in favor of recommending approval of Article 38 as written, please raise your hands. Looks like a 6 0 to me. Article 39, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $291,620 for the operation of the transfer station. I make a motion to accept. Article 39 is written. Seconded. Motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving Article 39 as written, please raise your hands. 6 0. Hey, we're moving now. <laughs> Article 40 to see if the town will vote to raise $21,449 and appropriate up to $25,449 for operation of the Recreation Department. $4,000 to come from anticipated revenues earned. Any unused funds to lapse into the Recreation Capital Improvement Fund. I make a motion to accept Article 40 as written. Seconded. Have a motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving Article 40 as written, please raise your hands. Six. Six zip. Article 41, to see if the town will vote to appropriate from the Recreation Capital Improvement Fund up to $7,000 for purchase and installation of a well pump at the recreation field on Route 109. Make a motion to accept Article 41 as written. Have, have motion been made? I will, I will second it with an inquiry as to what exactly the purpose of this is. Is this uh, because we're going to get into issues if we're going to have running water, uh, we may be in a situation where we need a waste disposal system. That is down the road, Tom. That's down For this that's year, uh, the rat gave the selectmen a real line item budget. Everything's laid out pretty clearly. Uh, Let me clarify something real quick. You made a motion. Did you second I'll it? I second this again. Okay, now we're in discussion. Um, their intent is, eventually, mm -hmm. uh, this year get some water up there, uh, which we're in dire need of. And uh, a year down the road, if possible, if between their fundraisers and the money they have uh, in their capital improvement account, uh, is to put a, a bathroom up there and get some water into concession stand, hopefully this year, um, and kids will be able to wash their hands and whatever you got to do to have some running water. Yeah. And that is the plan, long-term plan. They, they, they presented the slotman with a, was it a five-year plan? Yes. Uh, so they're really, everything's laid out there pretty clearly. Okay. So, and so I, the, we're on a path. But. We, we have a clear plan laid out that's available if anybody wants to see it. And uh, the other thing is with the addition of the ice rink, it, it was extremely hard to float the top of that rink carrying jugs of water. <laughs> Um, so that was a problem. A lot, of, a, lot of a, little, a lot of manual labor, you know, yeah. on the part of some volunteers. We so, water yeah, <laughs> we need, you know, step one's water, step two's a Zamboni or something. So, <laughs> <laughs> Moultonboro has it. <laughs> any, any further discussion? No. Yes, Susan? I can. Oh, I, thought, I thought I heard you say yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now my hearing is gone. It's been on Susan shot. night. She was Eyes are gone. Ears are gone. Jeez. She's raising a hand, yes. All right. <laughs> All those in favor of approving Article 41 as written, please raise your hands. Oh, yes. Six zip. <laughs> Article 42, to see if the town will vote to appropriate any recreation funding, fundraising revenues that exceed the budgeted amount to be utilized by the Recreation Department during the fiscal year 1920. 
Make a motion to accept Article 42 as written. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of Article 42, please raise your hands. Six zip. I'm going to get a rubber stamp. Article 43, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $250 for Conservation and Forestry Committee. I uh, make a motion to accept Article 43 as written. Second. Second. <laughs> I have a motion that's been made and seconded. All those in favor? Oh, any discussion? No discussion? All those in favor of 40, Article 40. One, no, three, excuse me. Please raise your hands. Six, zero. Article 44, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate up to $312,322 for county tax. No, we ain't paying it. I make a motion that ought not to pass. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I know. Can I get a motion, please? I make a motion that Article 4. 44 passes uh, written. Second. This Moved and seconded. Any discussion on Article 44? Only to note that this is a, this is informative, and that's all that we're we're bound by statute to pay this, and uh, so we don't have a choice. <laughs> but it, it it makes for a nice clean warrant to have it in there, so people understand where the money's going. Any further discussion? All those in favor of Article 44, please raise your hands. Rubber stamp. Article 45, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $1,077 for planning and development to be expended as Forrester's stipend. Make a motion to accept Article 45 is written. Second. Motion is made and seconded. Any discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, all those in favor of Article 45, please raise your hands. Six. Article 46, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $3,250 for the Cemetery Committee for maintenance, placement of flags, markers, and repair of veterans' graves. I make a motion that Article 46 uh, is approved as written. I'm not kidding. Second. Motion's made and seconded. All those in favor? Uh, any discussion? I still don't agree with this dollar amount. Noted. No. All those in favor of Article 46? Well, please raise your hands. Two, five. One abstention. One abstention. Who abstained? I did. Oh, he's on the committee. I'm on the cemetery committee, so I don't feel that it's proper for me to vote. But? Yes. Oh, okay. Five, yes, and one abstention. Right, right. But, well, I mean, there's other members that don't abstain, so I didn't know which direction you guys. So that was just a personal choice. All right, yep. five, zero, one. Got it. 47, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $1,600 for donation to York County Community Action as requested by the agency. Let me step in really quick. And it'll be quick. We are just about to start all of our donation section. It is in my intent that everybody gets cut in half. You do what you want to do. Go ahead, Dennis. I make a motion to um, accept Article 47 as written. I'll second it. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor of Article 47. Five one. Article 48, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $1,000 for a donation to Maine Health Visiting Nurses as requested by the agency. I make a motion ought not to pass. I second. Can you... Um, I think we talked about this before, yeah. um, to make a recommendation to appropriate zero dollars. Yeah, I think it's easier that way. It's cleaner. Or to, make a mo or to make a motion to approve the article as written and then just vote against it. But you, you don't want any money appropriated, right? Right. right. Appropriate zero dollars. Yep, there you go. Appropriate zero dollars. And that was seconded? Yep. 
Does he deserve it? that? I did. All right. Uh-huh. Can I get the motion read? To see if the town, well, it would be to, to see if motion the is to raise and appropriate zero dollars for donation to Mean Health Visiting Nurses. Any further discussion? Yeah, my, 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 my rationale for that. Like the other rationale, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Is that from the, these, like, as visiting nurses, if you have insurance, it'll pay for it. They'll come. Mm-hmm. If you don't have insurance for it uh, and you have the money, you can pay for it out of your pocket. If you have neither, you do not get the service. I've had personal experience with this, uh, with some senior citizens, and that's exactly how it worked. It does. What's that, Susan? It does, you're right. Actually, anything that bills people, I have a problem with. Light flight is in there. Yeah, yeah. And that's my rationale, because it doesn't... They'll come no matter what. I think that's where the clear line is. I understand, but they still, and they bill a lot. I mean, I owe life flight thousands Can of dollars. Can we stay on the article, please? That was my rationale, Tom. Yeah. I they don't, don't do any um, sliding scale or, or a sliding scale, or they don't do. They don't give the the mm-hmm. taxpayers a service. What the service they give the taxpayers are paying out of pocket for. Dennis, just real quick, if you come across another senior that has, um, regardless of what happens on town floor of this article, if you have a run into a senior that needs visiting nurse services and they refuse them because of that, um, I, please contact me directly. Yeah. Regardless of what happens here, I know that you know. That's I'd like to help you out. That I dealt with. Let me go forward. Here anymore, so. Yeah. Uh, going forward, I'd like to try to step in and help if that's the case. Yeah, I'd like to explore that further. That's just because it's not my understanding. And from it's never was mine, Tom. Yeah. yeah and that's well, wrong. Yeah. We have a motion that is made and seconded. Any further discussion? Would you read the motion, please, Carol? Recommend the Warrant Finance recommends to raise and appropriate zero dollars for donation to Maine Health Visiting Nurses. All those in favor? Close the vote. <laughs> Five. The one. One I'm going to vote opposed, and and simply I, I want to put this issue on the floor. You can you can explain it on the floor, Tom. Think. That's what I'm. I'm going to dig into it too before yeah. town meeting. As soon as because it's not consistent with my understanding. Yeah, we can give you yeah. names privately. Perfect. Next article. Article 49. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $1,600 for donation to Southern Maine Agency on Aging, as requested by the agency. I will we accept Article 49 as written. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? I have a question. Does anybody know if they do any insurance billing or patient billing or anything like that? They do Meals on Wheels. Oh, all right. Okay, that's the Meals on Wheels program, and, and uh, uh, that's the primary service. There are other services that they offer, but that's the primary service. That they are they the ones that do the senior luncheons, too, or no? No. No? Okay. Any further discussion? I have an article that has been, a motion has been made on Article 49 and seconded. All those in favor of recommending approval of Article 49, please raise your hands. Two, three, four. Oh, I'm sorry. Five. Five yes, one no. See if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $500 for a donation to the Trafton Center as requested by the agency. Make a motion. I make a motion to accept Article 50 as written. Yeah. I have a motion that's been made to accept as written. Can I get a second? I'll, I'll second it. Motions are made and seconded. Any further discussion? Yeah, I'm just a, a note here. The, the Trafton, 
Um, Trafton so charges for everything. Right, Trafton charges for everything. Okay. We, do have, we do have a number of senior citizens in town that do participate in activities down there. I don't know if they have a mechanism for subsidizing those that need subsidy. Um, and I don't recall, but it is an well, issue. The YMCA does before. have a sliding scale yeah. fee. That, like that for any of their services. I do know that. Do they own the Trafton Center? Yep. No. I say, I'm looking for the letter because I know it talked about it. Oh, I don't know. The Y, the y yeah. owns the yeah. Trafton yeah. Center? It's right there. Right. Right. Is this it? Yeah. I know in the past the Trafton Center has told us that the amount that they, they yeah, yeah. charge would be increased without the town donations. Yeah, they talk about the dues at $72 a year. That, that this will help I'm just it, <laughs> also, it also yeah. goes on to say no one is turned away due to inability to pay. Thank you for looking that up. I've forgotten. <laughs> that was my recollection. But so I have a motion that's been made and seconded. Any further discussion? Can I get a vote on Article 50? All those in favor? One, two, three, four, five. Five, one. 51. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $1,000 for the donation to the American Red Cross. We'll accept Article 51 is written. I have a motion made to accept 51 as written. Do I hear a second? I'm not hearing a second there. Second, I'm Dennis. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can step in, Arnie. <laughs> or anybody else. All right, now I have a, a motion that's been made and seconded to accept Article 51 as written. Any discussion? Yeah, I'd like to change the $1,000 to 500 mm. I think you have to vote the motion vote down. No, and then... Or oh, that's another make one. A, well, you vote them because there's a motion and a second. Ms. Carl's right. Make a motion to vote. You'd have, it would have to fail, and then you could make a new motion. Alternately, you could make a motion to amend my motion, which might confuse the chairman. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> it's not clean. <laughs> it's not really a good route to go. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, you, would you care to rescind your motion? Yeah, I will. Motion's been withdrawn. Can I get a new motion on Article 51, please? I'm, I move to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate $500 to the donation to the American Red Cross as requested by the agency. Second. So we're going to modify this article, or we're going to recommend modifying this article. Uh, we'd have to leave that last part out because it's not requested by the agency, but you're yes. just voting to raise an appropriate $500. Correct. That was an amendment, is that? Uh, I mean, you rescinded it, and then he made a new motion. Yeah, yeah. Is that yes. And who seconded Arnie's new motion? I did. Dennis. Same two people. Okay. Just. So I got a motion and a second on a revised article 51. See if the town will vote to raise an appropriate $500 for donation to the American Red Cross. Discussion? Any further discussion? I have something to say. Speak. Um, <laughs> I'm not a dog. Time's up. Please. <laughs> you three minutes to be fired. Um, telling you, Robin, you better be careful how you talk to us. Um, national concerns about the way the administration of the American Red Cross and the way that it's run and how little of the donations actually go to services. However, I can guarantee you that the American Red Cross spent more than $1,000 on acting families. And having been somebody that had my home burn, the American Red Cross was invaluable to me as an acting resident. And I think $1,000 is a minimal contribution to um, what a family goes through when their house burns They're and they've really lost everything they they've owned. Right out when our house burned and yeah. all the kids and stuff. And, and any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote on Article 51 as the Warrant Finance Committee is recommending that the town will vote to raise and appropriate $500 for a donation to the American Red Cross. All those in favor, please raise your hands. One, two, three. 
All those opposed? Four to two. Moving on. I gotta break my rubber stamp. All right. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $400 for the donation to the Child Abuse Protection Council Kids Free to Grow program. I'll make a motion, Nathan. Accept Article 52 as written. A motion made to accept 52 as written. Any seconds? On guys, second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Carol, do you have any knowledge of this? Was um, so is this something you do that you go through with foster care? Well, or? no, not necessarily. Okay. Um, this is. I think that they're fairly new to this area, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but um, this was one of the ones that I'd asked you know for more information on. Um, this is really. I want to see what they're going to do for us in this coming year um, because as a foster parent I had never heard of them um, but they do sound I mean their mission is a solid one and if they um, do provide the services they say they're going to do to help eliminate child abuse and neglect for four hundred dollars uh, that's pretty impressive so I'm curious to see what they do in this coming year just as a heads up I believe that this is the second year yeah. for this group. Yeah. I, I think last year was the first year that they were on our list. Any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of Article 52 as written, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, one. 53, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate $500 for a donation to York County Shelter Program. I'll make a motion to accept Article 53 as written. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor of recommending Article 53, please raise your hands. One. Two, three, four, five. Five, one. 54, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $610 for a donation to the Life Flight Foundation as requested uh, by the agency. I make a motion to appropriate $0 for Article 54. Seconded. Ooh. I have a motion that's been made and seconded to appropriate zero dollars for a donation to Life Flight. And that's the way it'll have to be written because they didn't request zero dollars. Any discussion? Can we have a rationale? Well, the only reason I want to go this, it says here $610 um, Funds contributed by the main municipalities will be dedicated to the aircraft replacement. Uh, In other words, it's a savings account. Huh? In other words, what you're telling me is it's a savings account? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to help buy him a new helicopter. You know, I mean, it's just, I don't know. Right. It is a good thing. I just want to pay for it, I'm sure. Since the service began, yeah. But their request, yeah. their request also says will be used to replace aircraft unless otherwise specified. So in our donation, we could put in there what we wanted to go for. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm reading it right from here. Will be dedicated to the aircraft replacement fund unless otherwise specified. You can always specify what a donation is to be used towards. Right. That is, you know, one of the wonderful things about donating. All right, so if, I, if I any objection is yes. that it's going to replace an aircraft someday. If, if we specified it's to offset the cost of an active resident that uses the service, then right. it could be done. Mm -hmm. so, but. We have an article that has been 
I have a motion that's been made and seconded to donate zero dollars to Life Flight. I, I guess I'd like to speak to this. I, I, I get the rationale and I approve very much of the rationale. I'm not in favor of saving for things ahead of time, as I made very clear. And if that's what the money is going to be used for, I'm going to have to support the zero dollar assumption. If it was going to be used for something else or if it was going to be used for operating, I can see a real need for it because it does provide a real service. But uh, I'm not in favor of just... Well, that, that's a different discussion, but if we're going to be taking money here from the citizens of Acton and putting it in a bank someplace, saving up for a new airplane, that to me is not... That's they need right. to borrow the money and then and then um, fund it from operating costs, fund, fund that purchase from operating costs. And, in the future. And Any I, further and, discussion? Yeah, I understand how upsetting it is. I mean, Life Flight is super, super expensive, but even when an ambulance comes, they bill your insurance for it, but we still continue to buy new ambulances in, in support of our ambulance department. The thing about Life Flight is they always come no matter what, you know, and I just think like $600 is pretty minimal. That, that's part of it. And the other part of it that's critical, our, our, our hospital services are further and further away and being consolidated more and more all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I spoke to the ambulance last time, the importance of having, having that service much more important than it used to be because yeah. now we're an hour away from uh, critical services and God only knows how much further it's going to be. And uh, that's an important hour. Any further discussion? I just, they bill insurance companies, they bill people, they, they are for profit. They are. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't include any. If you any. don't have any insurance, they still pick you up. I, you know, I, all I know is I got a bill and I have a high deductible, and nowhere on the bill did it say, if you can't afford to pay this, call us. Nowhere on the bill does it say that. Yeah. I would look nowhere. Into it. I would look into it And they brought my husband to a hospital I didn't want him to go to. So I realize that's a personal thing. No. I understand. <coughs> but, you know, I have a large deductible, and I had to pay them thousands of dollars. I'm not giving them six hundred and ten dollars. It's just hard where we're rural, and if somebody's having a you know major issue, yeah, um, you know it's nice to have. So I have a motion, well, I mean, we, and it's been seconded, and we're still discussing. No, okay, go no, ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead, please. I don't want to shut you down. <laughs> We're still going to have life flight. It's not if we don't donate this, yeah, they're not, not going to come, you know. <laughs> and they didn't put any financials in here for a uh, big company like that. I'd like to see, I hate to think we're subsidizing a $50 million corporation from a $8, $8 million business. <laughs> right. I mean, we get, we get, our town contributes a lot, a lot more than other towns do. I Is that the end of it? Said, yeah. It says right. the services are provided um, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. I have a motion I know what to are. raise and appropriate zero dollars for donation to Life Flight Foundation. It has been moved and seconded. I'm calling the question. All those in favor of raising and appropriating zero dollars. Please raise your hands. That's a six zero. Article 55, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $22,742 for the donation to the Acton Public Library as requested. I make a motion that we raise and appropriate $20,000 $20,742 for donation to the Acton Public Library. So you're cutting 2000 Yeah. Do I hear a second? Sure, I'll second it. Go ahead, Dennis. What's your My rationale? Yeah. Is that... Um, 
it is a 10% increase in their request. Um, and I think that, and as I've stated many, many times about uh, everything, uh, that I think the 10% increase is a lot. Uh, the Sletman said they told people they wanted a, no more than a 3% increase in any departments or any employees or anything, and, and I just think that's excessive under the circumstances. Can, Mr. Chairman, can we ask the uh, librarian to address the issues that are raised by David? Or <laughs> just a second, Tom. Well, yes. I was just going to. I was going to ask. I'm wondering uh, why the library is a 501c3. Why is it a? No I know, but I'm I'm asking you why was it formed as a nonprofit organization? So we could apply for grants. Huh? So we could apply for grants. You can apply for grants as a, uh, uh, a municipality is, is, is considered a nonprofit. But at least made the point that it's a private organization that is not I understand, and um, I, I just wanted to know the rationale of why. Because we're not a town department, being a 501c3 makes yep. you more, per, uh, you know, you're accessible to a lot more grants as a nonprofit. I know, but 90% of your budget is paid for by the town. I mean, oh, so you... No, because I, my budget, my book line is for books. I, did, I, you know, I applied to the Stephen King grant to get audios, $2,000 worth of new audio books, um, a backpack program where the kids can check out nature backpacks. We've got the story walk grant. And those are, those items, that's like three almost four thousand dollars right there that didn't come from taxpayers because this these are mostly operating oh, there's right. no breakdown of your of your budget there is in this book yeah right here it's it's very deep the actual, there is the i two, saw it right here of that two thousand dollar increase seventeen hundred dollars is to add a hundred more hours per year i'm trying to add an hour onto wednesday and friday i'd like to offer an after school program it's in the not it's in this that with all the this oh. is all the donations yeah. oh so That's why um, I didn't have it. yeah it, it, there's an explanation of the two thousand dollar increase seventeen hundred hundred more hours just like what you said and then um, three hundred dollars is you know less than a one and a half percent increase if you take the extra hundred hours out of the equation I think. Um, one of the things, one of the questions is, oh, I, I see it. Never mind. I see it. So you, so out of twenty-five thousand, you know, or twenty-seven. I'm sorry, twenty-seven thousand. About five thousand dollars comes from fundraising and and you know different things. You know, like your big, yep. and then the other uh, twenty-two. I see. So five thousand comes from raising, and. The library has some bank accounts like um, bonds or no, all those are gone. One account um, CDs. that used to be in a bond or CD or something. Like um, actually, I don't have it on here. It might be eleven hundred, twelve hundred dollars. Originally, it was supposed to be kept. It. I found some old paperwork from Holdsworth who made the original donation when it got refurbished. It's supposed to have five thousand in it. Stores with this paperwork, it did not come to me with five thousand. Mm. So it's just been sitting in a savings. Yeah. Hmm. Any further discussion? Let me read the motion. Read the motion again, please. Wharton Finance Committee recommends to raise and appropriate twenty thousand seven hundred and forty-two dollars for donation to the Acton Public Library. All those in favor of that recommendation, please raise your hands. One. Only one. All those opposed. Four. 
I want to leave it at the 22-7. All right. Okay. Uh, Mr. Motion. Chairman, I'll make, a, I'll make a motion that uh, we we adopt the article as written and we appropriate uh, 22742 as per requested, okay. as requested by the agency. I have a new motion as the other motion did not Second. pass. Ah, it's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of recommending approving Article 55 as written, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, five, one. <coughs> Article 56, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $22,000 for a donation to Acton Chapel Youth Conservation Corps. Make a motion to accept. Article 56 is written. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion on Article 56, please? <coughs> what do they basically do? Mm. Um, they serve the Melsum Lake Square Pond Watershed, yeah. Goose Pond, Loon Pond, Melsum Lake Square Pond. Um, and so they do the in boat inspections, correct? Okay. And they also sometimes help, um, I remember they help design some of the uh, what's water, that diversions, water, water diversions water diversion right, type right. stuff. Um, they, they, they provide a huge service, they, right? They don't. They don't provide boat inspection services. Oh, they don't? Them. No. I thought uh, they did Melsum. No, does each, of, each of the lakes provide their own, I think. I, I'm not sure. That maybe Melsum does, but I don't believe so. Uh, right. They did for a while. He's right. Uh, well, did, we, did, did I give everybody a packet on all yeah, the right here. Okay. Erosion control. Yep. They do. That was the word I was looking for. Yep. Uh, so they work so with property in, owners. During 2018, um, they um, worked hard to complete 19 erosion control projects. Um, the labor da, 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 second program is the courtesy boat inspection program okay. um, for Malsum Lake Square Pond Watershed. Um, yeah. So they paid the kids. That yes, the exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The property owner usually um, pays a certain percentage. And then percentage new. Of it. I'm sorry, John. I didn't no, no, talk to okay. you. New for 2019, they're going to have a pilot program um, utilizing CBIs on Malsum Lake to be trained as part of an invasive plant patrol crew. Um, so. They also employ a lot of kids that don't have jobs during the summer. That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. It works. It's a right. good well, it's like a really fun And this is, the, this is the same as like AWA does, the same exact same thing. They do erosion control measures. AWA helped our road get a federal 319 grant for the road. And then we had um, the youth group come in and do um, seven projects on the road. Wow. Yeah. And they're really working hard to protect this town's resources. Yeah. Any further discussion on Article, article 56? Let's see. Did they say what place no. they're... Uh, are Square they, are they, and Malsum. Okay. Malsum, Malsum okay. Watershed then. Yes. Same as last year. All those in favor of recommending approval of Article 56 as written, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five. Five one. And then speaking of AWA, Article 57, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $10,000 for donation to the <coughs> Acton Wakefield Watershed Alliance. I make a motion to accept. Article 58 is written. 57. 57. Seven. Thank you. I'm just trying to move along here, okay? <laughs> we have a motion that's been made. Can I get a second? Second. second. You got it. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion necessary on Article 57? They do the same thing as the previous group. Yeah. Except on different water. Except at different waterways. No discussion. All those in favor of approving or uh, recommending approval of article 57 as written please raise your hands one two three four five five one article 58 to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate a thousand dollars for the donation to the cornerstone vna as requested by the agency that's a veterans right cornerstone cornerstone vna versus um 
nurses. No, it's just like a visiting nurse. It's just like the visiting they're nurses, other, home health and hospice. They're, they're, they're out of New Hampshire, aren't they? They just, yes, they come out of the New Hampshire side of things. So. I make a motion, uh, zero appropriation for Article 58. I have a motion. Seconded. It's been seconded. Maine and New Hampshire. Yeah. He's a new thing. Mm -hmm. That was another chance. Who seconded that, Arnie? Arnie seconded. Um, discussion? Uh, discussion. Uh, the, the article ends with, as requested by the agency, and then we have in parentheses in this article, agency full request was 1958. Good catch. Uh, we'll make that correction. That's not what they requested. Okay. Thank yep. you. Well, do you know awesome. what was requested? Was the nineteen thousand nine hundred fifty-seven dollars and sixty cents? <laughs> Am I the only one that brought my packet? <laughs> no, I have it right here. Oh, I just got his. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Guys. Guys. I'm okay. with you. We <laughs> <laughs> never talked about it. So, so the so it, it should read one nine five eight then. The article should read one. That's no, it, no. The board is only moving forward with a thousand dollars. Okay. Flat line. All right. All right. All right. It's all right. The same as the other VNA. And, okay. and you can see that where it says the full request. So that we just copy and pasted too much with that sentence with the article. Yeah. And again, uh, this is uh, an agency that bills people. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion on Article Fifty Eight? Um, please read the amendment. The Wharton Finance Committee recommends to raise and appropriate zero dollars for a donation to the Cornerstone VNA. Period. Right, period. Right. All those in favor of that recommendation? One, two, three, four, five. Any five, one, this? I'm... Uh, you get nothing out of me. No, this was nothing. That, that was nothing. Well, that You're was getting... nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to give him something. <laughs> so that's a one vote, Rollin? Yeah. That's it. I'm staying consistent. Okay. <laughs> Article 59, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $300 for donation to Saco River Corridor Commission. Make a motion to accept. Article 59 is written. Second. Been moved and seconded in any discussion on the Saco River Corridor Commission. The water quality monitoring program. Right. Right. Hearing none, all those in favor of recommending approval of Article 59 as written, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five. Five, one. All right. Article 60. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $734 for donation to Caring Unlimited as requested by the agency. Make a motion to accept Article 60 as written. Second. I've got a motion that's been made and seconded to accept Article 68 as written. 68? 60, 68. excuse me. Bad eyes. <laughs> Any discussion on Caring Unlimited. I was just wondering. Available at no cost to Akron residents. Caring Unlimited is free. You don't pay to use their services at all. They have shelters. They have counseling groups. Um, are available I've volunteered no there quite a bit. So last year, they served um, 22 individuals from Acton. Total hours of ad advocacy was 119. Um, total hours of group were 40 and a half. Total number of emergency shelter bed nights, 90 bed nights. The cost of what they provided the Acton residents was $13,952, and they're asking for $734. Any further discussion? Just give them more. Agreed. Well, we took it away from other places. They didn't ask for more. You can't increase the article. <laughs> We, we but can, you know what? They do a lot of fundraising, and I'll let you know the next time we're running one out. <laughs> our, our neighbors, helping neighbors, we do send people and help try to support them as well, because Carol's right. Yeah. We, we could increase it if the selectmen agreed to change yeah. the wording in the article. I don't know if they're interested in doing that. <laughs> but uh, Is there any further discussion on Article 60 other than increasing it? All those in favor of recommending approval of Article 60 as written, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, five, one. 
Article 61, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $1,000 for donation to Maine Behavioral Health. <coughs> Make a motion to accept Article 61 is written. I have a motion. You'll have a sliding scale, I think. I have no second. Tom. No, Except second, is written. Second. second. I'll second that. Yes. I have a motion and a second to accept Article 61 as written. Any discussion? Hearing none. All those are <coughs> all those in favor of approving Article 61 as written. Please raise your hands. One, two, three. Ah, I can't see. Virginia, three. No. She said no. 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 Okay. So three. It's three, three. Are you saying no because they are the, because they built? Mm -hmm. yes. okay. So that fails by definition. Yes. Right. That's our recommendation. Yep. What do you mean? What was it count? To fail. Uh, okay. A vote of three, three is not to pass. Right. Correct. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Or, I mean, the moderator will just, he'll just take that as, you know, three or in favor, three or against. So. Yeah. Article 62. Um, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate $500 for a donation to Sexual Assault Response Agency. SARS. I make a motion to accept Article 62 as written. I have a motion looking for a second. second. I have a second. Any discussion on Article 62? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving Article or recommending approval of Article 62 as written, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five. Article 63, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $2,000 for a donation to the Acton <coughs> Chapley Historical Society. Carol, do you have the write-up on there? I yeah. do. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're requesting $2,000, um, okay. same as they requested from Chapley, um, the additional funds being used for the rehab of the old Grange Hall across the street from Chapley Town Hall. A few years ago, the Act and Board authorized them to raise funds for the Lincoln School. Now they're in turn trying to do the same for the Grange. So this is twice as much as they asked for last year. I make a motion that we raise and appropriate $1,000 uh, for the donations of the Act and Shapley Historical Society. Yes. I'll second that motion. Uh, last Discussion? year, last year and the year before, when we when we entertained these motions, we were quite clear in making, we were quite clear in requesting specifically what the funds were going to be used for, and that, that, that uh, says, doesn't, doesn't quite cut it. It's not a description, mm -hmm. really, of, the, of what the funds are going to be used for. Is there any further discussion? When this originally started, when the, time, the historical society started asking uh, Acton and Shapley for some money, uh, it was about eight, nine years ago. And the reason was they were in the same position that we are basically in with the Lincoln School. The insurance company came in and said, uh, you need to close this down unless you're gonna upgrade your wiring. Uh, and there was a few other things in there. And historically, they've always had suppers, bake sales, things like that to keep the historic society uh, moving forward. And they needed the money to fix the building so they could keep it open. Um, I'm not quite sure really what they spent for money on the Lincoln School. Zip. Uh, I know that. We've been talking about it for a few years. Um, so I, I just, I'm not against, but I think the dollar amount, uh, considering um, what we've been doing with the other ones is more consistent, leaving it the same request it was last year. Dollar amount and a plan for what you're going to do with the money. Can I shed some light on it? 
just for everybody's information, I am a member of the Acton Shapley Historical Society. I'm also a sit on the board, which means I will not be voting on this article. However, they have not expended the funds that you gave them last year. There is nothing that has been spent on the Lincoln School. Most of the money that the uh, society has been spending has been toward restoring the Grange up in Chapley. They no longer can call it the Grange. They have to call it the Chapley Pavilion now. <laughs> I know. Makes no sense. So, with that said, that's all I'm going to say. Well, I'd just like to say it makes sense to me, Rowan. <laughs> That's all. Okay. I have a question. You have a question. You may ask your question at your will. I'm a member, too. Does that mean I have to abstain? About your heart, dear. Uh, yes, ma'am. You're still in discussion, right? Sure, we are not. I, I believe uh, Richard Neal came to the town and said there's like $11,000 in the fund for the restoration of the Lincoln School. Does that sound familiar? Not that I remember, at least. I, I was here that night, and he did. That does sound familiar to me. I'm not 100% on the number, but, yeah. but there was a lot of money in there, and uh, they just haven't. What they need is a committee. Right. Who will then connect with MMA to figure out what it yeah. is they need to do for repairs to make that building usable? Yeah. And so that's what he was talking to the board at that. He said that, you know, that's exactly what he said. You're right. I remember that yeah. now. And I think yeah. the appropriate. He's looking for somebody to take the, looking for the lead on that. And He's ready to back out. Yeah. And I think that's all fine and dandy, but when they have that committee and have a plan and can come and tell us what they're going to do, we might consider appropriating some money to, to move ahead with it. But let's have a plan first. Yeah, yeah I mean, if the money's sitting in the bank, we don't need to Any move other the discussion? <laughs> I have a move the question from me. Yes, Arnold. All those in favor of? No. Raise an appropriate Raise thousand an appropriate dollars. A thousand for the Acton Shapley Historical Society. Please raise your hands. One, two, three. Three yes. Um, two abstentions. And one no. Who's the other abstention? She's on the board too. Or a member. A member. A member. You don't have, have to abstain. As long she as doesn't you make have to abstain. Oh, I thought you said you were abstaining because you're on the. I was asking. Oh, it was a question. I'm sorry. Yeah, so uh, we actually, we, re we reached out to um, Main Municipal a couple of times over the years. So there's nothing, because you're an advisory committee, there's nothing that says you have to abstain on any of them. Okay. okay. Um, so well, it's your choice. So what's your pleasure? Can I get a re-vote, please? All those in favor of recommending a $1,000 donation, please raise your hands. One, two, two three. No. She's no. no. Susan Reed. I'd be all right. I wish it was two thousand. Well, then don't vote. Then vote yeah. against it so that you can vote for the two thousand. Yes, if you don't want to give me two thousand until you have a plan. Well, this is a one thousand. This is a one thousand. Even one thousand. Well, <laughs> uh, okay. that was the motion. That was the motion on the floor. Yes. Yeah, so okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So four thousand dollars. I just want to make sure I have this count right. Dennis, Arnie, Tom voted yes. Susan. Were you voting yes for a thousand? If that's my choice, my okay. it's not your yeah. choice. I just want to make sure she understands. You can vote against it. So when it goes to town floor and they ask why it's a three-three vote, you can you know you can stand up to the two thousand dollar amount with your views. It's going to end up being a three-two-one vote. Right, that's fine. I just want to make sure she you know she's yeah, not being. Yeah, sad. I do. I do. Um, I just don't know. I'll vote yes. So now it's a four. Four one one. Four one one. Okay. Article sixty four to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate a thousand dollars for donation to Southern Maine Veterans Cemetery Memorial Association. I'm not going in that. I make a motion to accept. Article sixty four is written. Seconded. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion on Article 64? 
tell a comment. It seems like in some cases, because some of these requests don't include any substantial numbers to support their budget, um, we've said no to them or, or cut them. This one doesn't say much. Mm -hmm. Doesn't. There's no supporting financial numbers. I will. Pro I can provide a little background on this. Okay. This issue came up, I believe, two years ago and Warrant, but two, three years ago before Warrant and Finance. And Warrant and Finance voted to not appropriate, not move forward any money. After that uh, motion succeeded on the floor of the town meeting, uh, equivalent sums were voluntarily raised in town. Actually, they raised almost seven thousand right, dollars right, in right. town. So okay. the next time Warren Finance considered the request, we decided that the, that the town meeting had said that they wanted to do this. I don't know that there was a uniform vote. I don't remember exactly what the vote was, uh, but it was a topic of hot discussion, and, and Warren Finance and the town voted in the affirmative on these requests based on the fact that the town had gone out and raised that money privately when when uh, uh, this when donation is uh, is not for veterans graves it's not for providing a grave it's not for providing any headstone this is simply money for the beautification and 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 that's all I'm going to say. No, it's the not for going. No, it is for the beautification. In other words, we're going to plant trees. We're going to plant flowers. We're going to put up memorials. We're going to that's plant. it. And we're going to build trails. Right. Okay. And yes, a walkway. walkway. Memorial walkway. All right. Yeah. I have no objections. I got my butt fried. The men and women that are veterans, deceased veterans, or even veterans that are alive. Uh, to make the presentation of where they are uh, to beautify it or make it more friendly or putting in handicap uh, walkways so that people with wheelchairs and stuff can access the, the property. Uh, I'm telling you right now, it's a small price to pay for our right to be sitting here. And I have spoke about the veteran stuff before. I spoke about it uh, with the Cemetery Association. Uh, this money they're asking is $1,000. And it's penis for what they've done for us. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of recommending approval of Article 64 as written, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, five, one. Article 65, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $2,000 for donation to the Grady's Lake Improvement Association. Make a motion to accept Article 65 is written. Seconded. Been moved and seconded. <coughs> Any discussion? This is for their boat inspection program specifically? This, right. this does yeah. Yeah, way more than just the boat. It also, they buy right. the buoys and buoy the, the lake, right. the rock pile. But they there, do, I think their letter indicated it was, it was specifically to support the boat inspection program, is. which is fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, yeah. I mean, they do a lot of other things right. that uh, they do weed watching, water quality measurements. Uh, they uh, keep an eye on what's going on on the lake. Money well spent. Any further discussion? All those in favor of approving, uh, recommending approval of Article 65 as written, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, five, one. Article 66, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $2,500 for a donation to the Acton Meat Pantry, as requested by the... I make a motion we accept Article 66 as written. Seconded. Motion to be made and seconded. Any discussion? Yeah, where is the pantry located? Right next door in the church. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> it's the name, Acton Medical. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday of the month. 
Any other discussion? This is a great job. Can we do anything job. other than this? As far as the food pantry, no. I mean, other than our neighbors helping neighbors, we do give um, quite a bit of gift cards or vouchers through Hannaford so to the church. Do a food drive, anything like that? No, they haven't really reached out to us for need yet. This this number seems to suffice, and as you know, we pick up during the holidays with the baskets and turkeys to try to alleviate some from them through our neighbors as well. So, and Acton residents also utilize the the York County. That's yeah, correct. Yep, I believe. Mm -hmm. yep. Isn't the school? At least once a year, does a food drive for the. And they may, yeah, they may. Now that you say that, and they have the does the weekly backpack program that they send home with yep. families that have indicated that they're. Um, yep. I know the school did that. something, but I didn't. So. That's actually the primary kind of like events for the PTG, right. I think. Kind of like the visiting nurse. If anybody hears of anybody that's you know doesn't have food or can't afford something, no, I, no, you're not. Why are you laughing? No, I. No, I'm. You know what I mean? I honestly, I want, those are the people I want not to get off track, but those are the people I want to hear about. I mean, remember we've got six, seven thousand dollars in our neighbor, neighbors. Last week we gave two hundred dollars to an eighty-five year old couple that couldn't buy groceries. I mean, I need to know about those people. So if you hear about them, please send them my way. Can we do something on a smaller scale, like at the Board of Selectmen meeting, have a box for people to bring food? Would that be helpful? Yeah, I'm not. I would say if they need it, they would. Need well, I'm, like, I'm looking for people that need it. They, if you know, if you have a neighbor or somebody in need or somebody that might need some help, send them my way because we have things to give. We just, you know, we need to know that they're out there. Okay. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, can I get a vote on Article 66 to recommend approval of the article as written? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you voted. For six that. zero, yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Being all generous and stuff. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We already talked about this. Yes, we did, Rollin. I'm up with you. She right. knows that I would definitely give them more money, but they didn't ask for more money, so. They do a lot. Article 67, please. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate $5,000 for a donation to Balch Lake Improvement Association. This is cut from the original 5500 the agency requested. I make a motion to accept the article as written. Oh. Uh, seconded. I have a motion that's been made and seconded. Any discussion on Article 67? Yes. Um, if you look through the financials for this organization, you will find out that they have $71,000 in the bank, and that is an increase from last year of over $14,000 um, just in one year. So the money's going in the bank. Uh, I don't know why we need to add more to the 71000 that they have in the mm -hmm. bank. They haven't ex any explanation for spending that money. Where did so, the bank balance come uh, from? From the, from the from distribution. Their statement shows a $71,000 balance and a $14,000 balance increase over last year. So. Oh, I'm surprised. Okay, so Balch Lake Improvement Association, representing all 11 associations on the lake. Uh, they have a ser serious milfoil problem on that lake. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that was clear. Hold on a second. Um, I'm looking for their financials, and I, yeah, I don't too. see them. I just have the letter, so. I left my copy at home. That's, that's what I'm working to. I can't oh, find the, fi it's not with the uh, letter. I see what it is, it's split up. It's, is I, I just found a blimp here, I know. Oh, here it is. is. Yep, yep, blimp. Okay, and well, the front let's part see. is up here. The, the cover sheet is here, but the financials are up there. Here they are, it's testing information. Oh, we should get them. Okay, here it is, their budget worksheet. So, dedicated funds, municipality. I don't see what you're talking about. Okay, let me see if that's the right sheet or if I, if it was a Because I see 20 something I revenue had, and 20 something. Uh, there, was, there, was an audit, there was an audit statement that accompanied this, and I don't remember if it came in the original distribution or the follow up distribution. No idea. <laughs> Because there are two distributions of literature 
then. So why do we give them so much more than the other lakes? Because of the milfoil problem? Yeah, they have a big milfoil problem, and if it fills the lake up, the, the value of their residence is going to go down. Right. Do you have fact, a there was a do you, do you post on a page recently, some guy went fishing there, and he, all he caught was milfoil. Mm. I believe that. I'll say, Tom, that in 2018, 497 property owners around the lake made financial contributions. So I don't right. know if because of this issue, not, it's getting worse that more people get donated around the lake. Well, I, I don't know. All I did was I re read the edit, audit, auditor's statement, and that was provided uh, from you folks. And I don't have my copy of that as home, but the statement is what it is. So. Uh, with seventy-one thousand dollars in the bank, and that being an increase over last year's balance of fourteen thousand uh, dollars, unless they have a really good explanation of why there's stuff in the bank, uh, I can't see. It's not tangible. Can't approve a loan for it. What's is it? B is it blimp? Is Thank that <laughs> yeah. Yeah. okay? I found it. Blimp. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's like this. It's the audited financials. Right. Um, so, 2018, town, uh, their income was 63000 their expenses were forty eight, mm -hmm. and uh, their net income was fourteen. They carried fourteen. No, uh, uh, second sheet of that. Current assets. Oh, okay, right. checking account seventy one thousand oh twenty six. Yep. Those are current account numbers as of the audit statement, which <laughs> because they started out um, thirty. The carryover, their beginning balance of their retained earnings were fifty six. So this isn't something new, though. This looks like they carry a balance this is as of twelve thirty one eighteen. Oh, why? You said that I think that. Uh, and why has it gone up fourteen thousand dollars? I mean, I don't. Uh, I can certainly get you more information for the next meeting if you'd like to table just this one, since yeah. we already have three. What's one more? <laughs> yeah. In an effort to move you along, it's eight thirty. I want you to will. Yeah. yeah. Would you like that, Chairman? Mm -hmm. Table Article Sixty Seven. To our next meeting. I'm going to call baloney. <coughs> you call baloney? Yeah. Oh, my Lord. What'd she say? Nothing. She Not called baloney. <laughs> I called baloney. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Article 68. To see if the town will vote to appropriate up to $25,000 from the Capital Improvement Fund for renovation of the kitchen in the town hall. Mr. Moderator, uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion. This I don't think this ought to pass. I'll make a motion that ought not to pass. For zero dollars? Correct. Uh, not necessarily for zero dollars. We can discuss this, but that your motion is ought not, not, ought to, not, pass. Ought not to pass. I'm not well, accepting I may that make motion. a different recommendation, but let's discuss it for a little bit. You have a choice here. I second it. Thank you. Why? All right. I have a motion. Can I, can I discuss here? Not to pass and been seconded. Okay. Okay. Um, for a whole bunch of reasons, but one of them being that there's no description of what's to be done for that sum of money. But let's take a look at this building. Uh, you know, the building can't be economically heated. It has no insulation. It has drafty windows. New furnace apparently is required, or that's what I've heard. We have no por portable water supply. We have no functioning sanitary waste disposal system. We have insufficient or inadequate hot water to do dishes with, and the kitchen is overrun with rodents. Every time somebody wants to come in here and cook and use the kitchen, they have to clean it thoroughly first. They open the drawers and they're full of mouse turds, if you'll excuse the 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 reference. Uh, the electrical system is functionally obsolete, uh, and there's no, there's not enough capacity for one thing, uh, and the building is structurally obsolete and it's falling apart. Okay, and we're not going to get rid of the rodents because we have an old stone foundation under here, and there's no way to seal it up. We've spent a lot of money on this building fixing up, or to put it as somebody has said, putting lipstick on a pig, basically. Okay, and I. I would suggest that if we want to spend this money that we hire an architect and get them 
to redesign the front two-thirds of this building. For those of you who don't know, the back third was new when that was added. And yes, I have very fond memories of the old three-holer that used to be over there. And coming in and starting the wood stove at 10 o'clock in the morning when we were going to do dinners during the winter time. But it's time to deal with what we have. And we have a building that is in desperate condition structurally and every other way and is obsolete. And that is not a repair. So, I will withdraw that motion if you if you want and say uh, recommend that we appropriate twenty five thousand dollars to hire the architect. But there's my position. And if I could just very quickly, so we did have Jim Fisk come in, who does he's not an architect, but he does come in and do the the drafting, the design work. He came in and did all that. I agree. You can't. I mean, the building overall needs work, but for that twenty-five thousand, that would save that kitchen for another ten or fifteen years, and it's going to be that long before you can you're going to do anything with it, with this with this building. Cleaning that and redoing all of the cabinets and structure and the floor that includes the water includes includes everything it will make a big difference with the rodent. And quite honestly, the other option is going to be to have to shut down the kitchen. You know, which is going to mean the, the owls' luncheon, which is going to mean the lions' club, which is going to mean all these functions. Um, Effectively, it's shut down now, Jen, because yeah. what is realistically it's happening not shut is, down now. Excuse me. <laughs> what is realistically happening is all the food is being prepared at home. The dishes, if we're going to use anything from here, one of the reason to home. get the renovation. Go, go home to so people to wash out, and it, it gets brought in. Okay, uh, you can't drain water out of the kitchen sink. That's why we need to renovate it. We have Jim Kittredge, our plumber, who came in and, and looked at it and gave us a plan that's built into the 25000 Okay. We know it has those issues. We're trying to fix them. Is there water filtration in that? No. No. So, okay. There's a no holding... No water. We, 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 uh, and you know, we don't have sanitary waste disposal. We, can, we could, if we were doing this over again, run a drain over and connect it into the sanitary waste, but it's time to do it. That's my view. What is my motion, please, on Article 68? The motion on the floor is um, ought not to pass. Right. And if that stands... And it's been seconded? Yes, Ernie. Call the question. All those in favor of the motion that Warren Finance recommends ought not to pass, please raise your hands. One. Two, three, three. Do I have any no votes? One, two, three, two, one. You're abstaining? One? No, excuse me. Three, three. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> They can explain further. Can I ask a doing. Can I ask a procedural question? So three three means the the motion didn't pass. Does that mean you now need to vote, or you just leave? <laughs> no, it I mean you can just leave it like that. I mean it's just a because it's just a advisory board. Okay, yeah. with split, yeah. and the moderator will explain that. Okay. Article, Article sixty nine to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate eighteen thousand two hundred sixty five dollars. Appropriate twenty five thousand from the dam capital res reserve fund and appropriate forty thousand from the undesignated fund for total appropriation of eighty three thousand two hundred sixty five dollars for dams. Uh, you want me to read the three things? No, I'll Nothing make good? a motion to approve Article sixty nine as written. I have a motion that's been made to approve Article 69 as written. Second. Second. Motion's been s made and seconded. <coughs> Discussion. I, I would just, um, the annual maintenance for the dam, if we are going to repair the dam, then I don't understand what the maintenance is unless that's just uh, paying the employee to monitor it. Gatekeepers and, and such, yes. Yeah, that's what that's for. Yes, they don't expect that number to change with the okay. well, major fine. project. And there ain't no gatekeeper anyway. 
well, the person that over is overseeing the thing. Do we, do we have the plan? Have we seen the plan yet? Sanford is not quite ready to release it. They've released it to the in committee between all three towns, but they haven't, no one's brought it to the full town yet. They're still working out the details of it. Would you DMS us? Emory Mills. Emory, Emory. Emory Mills, Dan. Oh, okay. Lower Mousem. I have an issue with this operation, but that's okay. I'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any further discussion on Article 69? Hearing none. All those in favor of recommending approval of Article 69, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, five, one. Article 70, my God, we hit 70 already? To see if the town will vote to carry forward the following fund balances and allow the balance. Waive the reading. Okay. Um, I make a motion we accept Article 70 as written. I have a motion that's been made. Can I get a second? Second. It's been seconded. Any discussion? Come on, Tom. I know you've got something. <laughs> no, no, we made the minor change that he asked for. We moved all that down to the bottom. It should be good, Tom. Well, I, I have a couple other questions, too. Uh, we're appropriating these things, but we have no designated purpose for the expenditure, uh, specifically Forestry and Conservation Committee and Forestry Reserve Funds. The others are clear, and historically, uh, this article has been used where, the, where we know where the funds are going or what they're used for, as is clear from the first and second and third lines of this. But these the, the Would you like to know where the forestry and conservation funds? Well, you should, used? based on the warrant articles. Those are spelled out, and those are in your budget books. The forestry and conservation committee funds, the forestry reserve funds. I don't think they have anything left in there after their what? They have maybe five hundred dollars after their plan. Yeah. Nope. Going buy there no, there's no article. More land, Tom. There's no article asking them to spend that this year. But the forestry and conservation it should be. It, we just we brought it gone over. Well, the, the point is, if you're going to appropriate it in an article, you're supposed to specify the purpose of the appropriation. That's part of that's part of what an appropriation is, and there's nothing here that shows. I'm okay. going to disagree, so that you can move on. <laughs> well, it doesn't tell me what you're going to spend the money for. No, because that was in the article where the forest and conservation was. That's where it tells you what, what you're going to spend it on. And they're not going to tell you anyway. Any further discussion on Article 70? Hearing none, all those in favor of recommending approval of Article 70 as written, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four. Four to two. Article 71. See if the town will vote to accept any and all funds received from the state of Maine and the federal government and appropriate any designated revenues received to their designated use. Make a motion to accept Article 71 is written. A motion that's been made? Seconded. It's been seconded. Discussion, Tom. Nothing. No. No discussion. No discussion. Don't Sorry. call Sorry. on him, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hearing no discussion. All those in favor of ap recommending approval of Article 71, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, five, one. Get close to the end, John. That's okay. Well, no, I'm going by your. I'm going by, by your. Um, I am. Oh, What's I have? your issue? Oh, never mind. I don't, it's okay. <laughs> I don't care what your issue is with that one. <laughs> Next article, please. Article 72 to see if the town of Acton will authorize the transfer of excess funds from the school's end designated fund balance to offset taxes contingent on the Acton School Department fund balance policy and there being a surplus at the end of the fiscal year. I'm going to make a motion to accept. Article 72 is written. Motion's been made. I'll second it. It's been seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of 
recommending approval of Article 72 as written. Please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 All right. Article 73, to see if the town will vote to appropriate up to $769,907 from fiscal year 1920 anticipated municipal revenues to reduce the amount of to be raised by taxation during the tax commitment. I may make a motion to accept Article 73 is written. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? <coughs> Just, uh, I think that'll be a million dollars, but that's all right. That's up quite a bit from last year. <laughs> all those in favor of recommending approval of Article 73 as written, please raise your hands. 6 zero. Article 74, to see if the Town of Acton will authorize the use of funds from the Municipal Undesignated Fund Balance to offset taxes, contingent on the Acton Municipal Fund Balance Policy and there being a surplus at the end of the fiscal year. Can I get a motion on Article 74? Article 74 is written. I have a motion. Looking for a second. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor of recommending approval of Article 74 as written, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, zero. Article 75, shall this municipality authorize the state to issue licenses for the sale of liquor to be consumed on the premises of licensed establishments on Sundays? I make a motion to accept Article 75 as written. I have a motion. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion on Article 75? So there's an take out. Can I, can I, I I'm going to real quick if I can. This is a strictly a housekeeping. So what happened, the State of Maine uh, Liquor Division contacted the Town of Acton uh, several months ago, basically saying that uh, they had proof um, back in the 1980s that the Town of Acton voted to allow liquor sales. But at that time, the State of Maine only allowed it six days a week. So it wasn't an option for you to go to seven. When the state law changed, um, Acton was supposed to vote again just to make sure that the voters wanted to do the seventh day. They didn't have any record of that. That would have been in the early 90s. Um, therefore, this is just a housekeeping. Can I just um, get some clarification on the motion you made? No, sir. Did you say as written? Or did you say you, vo you made a motion to um, authorize the state to issue um, licenses for the sale of liquor to be consumed on Sundays. State to issue licenses. Yeah. That, okay. Because I think you said um, that you made a motion to accept it as written and it's a the question. I think you have to... to it's approve, a it's shall approved, they right. authorize? See, it's a so, yes or no question. Right. Okay. So approve. I make a motion uh, yes on this article. Thank you. So right now, can you not buy via to go? You can, and it's it's you can. To go, uh, it's not a to go question. That's what this I is have. a consumption question. In other words, can you buy alcohol, a drink, at uh, Wild Willie's on yes. Sunday? Yes, you can. That was my can question. You buy it says on the premises. I was just clarifying. Yeah, yes, and on the premises. The state is not going to. Um, you know, they're giving us some time, so it's not stopping anything that's going on right now, but they gave us a certain amount of time to deal with it. So that's, you know, so putting it on the next like annual. It's no. on it doesn't change anything. You'll never know a difference if it doesn't passes. Affect, it doesn't affect going down to uh, the so trading post and buying a... Consume on the premises. Yeah. Well, you know, oh, so they can't buy a six-pack on Yeah, it doesn't. Yes, yeah. that piece has already been approved. The oh, purchasing of alcohol on Sundays has already been voted in by Acton. It's the consumption on the premises that wasn't voted on. Correct. Okay. Any other questions? I just want to go on the record that back and when Jen alluded to back in the 80s, I didn't. You don't want to go back. I, to I didn't agree with it then, and I still don't agree with it. But I. I well, come in and let me show you the minutes. I'm a mind. No, I agree with what you're oh, saying. Oh, I was going to say I'm not I didn't it up. agree with the sale of alcohol. Oh, oh gotcha, gotcha. And I still He's don't. And I realize <laughs> I'm a minority, but that's how I feel. I can show you the book. I don't care. Any other that. discussion? No, I remember the town meeting discussion. Hearing none. 
does the Warren Finance Committee want to recommend that the municipality authorize the state to issue licenses for the sale of liquor to be consumed on the premises of <coughs> licensed establishments on Sunday. So the motion All on those the in floor favor say is to yes. Yes. All those in favor? Yes. Raise your hands. <laughs> Five one. Dennis said no. If I can, Roland, real quick on the last two articles. Um, these are new on here, so I'm going to ask you to table them, so that will bring us up to two, three, four, five. And let me tell you, just give you a quick little 30-second uh, rundown on them. Oops. So, okay, just so... Let me catch up. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> it's quarter or nine. I'm wilting. You're losing. I'm losing. No, I'm just losing. I'm wilting. The ones are on. Wilting. <laughs> last two articles are tabled. Oh. Okay, let me just give you a little quick. So the road ordinance, the only, this has come forward um, primarily because some of the private roads that are meeting some of the qualifications are having trouble with becoming a class B road, giving the 34 foot and still keeping them a conforming lot. So this is a recommendation of the attorney. The only change that you're going to see is under class B. Um, you're going to see that that little bit of 2A was changed. What's underlined is changed. You'll see the rest of the letters are underlined only because I changed them from numbers to letters because you can't go 1, 2, and then 1, 1, 1. You gotta, it's got to be changed. So I changed that formatting. Nothing else has changed. However, turn the page and put a little circle around number 3 because I'm going to discuss with this, this with the Board of Selectmen tomorrow night. A couple of people have come to me. Currently, this says procedures for the creation of roads. A couple of people have come to me and said they would like to see that say the procedure for the creation of new roads because they do the way that it sits right now section a and b under here talking about the engineer and the road commissioners pertains to those private roads trying to become class a b or c the what i'm hearing is that the intent of this when it was originally written um, before my time was that this procedure was just for new roads so that those private roads like 7th Street trying to become a class B shouldn't need an engineer. We've had an attorney look at it. It's up to interpretation at this point. I know that Tom you're working with 7th Street trying to get the engineering piece done. So the board may or may not put the word new in there. Something to think about. The other piece under 3B it says whether this is a creation of a new road or, an, or a private road, it says the road commissioners, plural. Um, the thought there is to take that S off because it, really the road commissioner on that side of town should be the only one making the recommendation. Right. So the board is going to discuss those two things tomorrow night. I Not think we were looking for the technical expertise of both. You, well, and the, I understand what you're saying. Right, yeah. because if you, I mean, you know, Johnny doesn't need to come over to Billy's side, especially if they don't get along as elected and try to flip something. I mean, that's, and it's just, I mean, I don't know what the board's going to say. I'm just telling you what I'm going to point out to them tomorrow night. Yeah. And then 77, if 76 passes, 77 will qualify, um, and then the voters would decide about 7th Street. But if 76 does not pass, 77 won't get voted on because they won't qualify. Is there a public hearing for this? Yes, and the board's going to set that date tomorrow night. Okay. okay. Is this, oh is this it'll it'll be set setting a precedent yeah. for, I mean, this is basically for 7th Street, right? This, uh, and all other. Well, other I mean, how many other, uh, how, how many others are there? What if somebody had a road that, and they wanted to move it out to 10 feet? Uh, move it down to I don't know I don't yeah. know I just I just good questions know. for the public hearing I'll gather you some more information I'm That's, just and that was just I mean that was you heard the instruction last week I've got a little more information I'll give you on it but I'm trying to understand the non-conforming lot piece before I speak more than I understand so <laughs> tomorrow night would be a good point or at the public hearing a good, so good question to ask three Jan you were saying about something about maybe changing that to putting the word new in there creation of a new road okay and then possibly taking that S off road commissioners. But again, that, that was... would just eliminate road commissioners. The, the procedure was intended to cover all roads. It wasn't intended just... And that's why currently 7th Street is being told that they need an engineer report as listed in 3B. And, 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 and it, with good, with good uh, reason. And the reason is located up in um, Walsh. Good so conversations for the public hearing. Yeah. Okay. I don't have any history on that, so I have to do some digging. So, um, so we just need a meeting date, Chairman. Yeah. So we have our public hearing for, for
five and six on Monday the 13th. Correct. If you were to venture a guess on the road ordinance public hearing, um, what's the time frame on that? Because I would like to set our date after that. Right, so. Uh, I, that is my intent, is to make it after May 13th. And the board can't, they can't schedule it now. From They can't add it onto the 13th. They haven't, they can't meet the legal requirement. Um, I mean, they're probably going to love me, but I'm going to try to, I'd like to see them do it on like the 15th because it's going to be two in one week, but we need to get it done because absentee ballots have to be available 30 days before the election, which is June 18th. That leaves me at May 18th. I can't, I have to post the warrant, so. So then you're really saying that if the public hearing was May 13th, the second one, the 15th, Warrant and finance would need to meet and vote on the 17th so that you could have your ballots on the 18th. Well, I, no, no. So I, no, nope, I can issue absentee ballots as long as I know these ordinances aren't going to change. Oh, okay. Because I have to have a final draft to give the voter and say, here you go. So we don't have to vote. So no, it's us. primarily on the two um, secret ballot ones. Okay. This one, you have a little more time, so the board really could wait until the next week, but we are getting close. So figuring you have what five articles? I mean, I wouldn't go any later than. The 13th is Monday. Right, but if they want to hear the public hearing on the road ordinance, they may not be able to make a recommendation until then. Well, I'm... Uh, I mean, could you... Uh, I hate to say Thursday. The 16th? That, that's what I was thinking. What is the 16th? It's a Thursday. Thursday. Let me just go peek at the calendar. Yes, please, please, please. Thursday. Well, I have no grandchildren. I'm about to get off the bus. Or I'll get off the bus. On Thursdays? Ready for bed? <laughs> oh, I just... I and then we have one neighbor that comes and walks down the street. If it's anything you're going to vote on, you need to be here, because I'm not going to be back. I'm leaving Wednesday. I'm going to be back until too. the night of the 17th. Yeah. Where are you coming? Thanks. Oh! Uh, on the 16th, I would recommend it was at 6 o'clock because the planning board has their meetings at 7 o'clock. I know they have a public hearing. You guys so the 16th is Tuesday? Thursday. Thursday? Yeah. 16th is a Thursday. We have to do it. So May 16th? So May 16th at 6 o'clock. That's when we'll do them on it. You essentially would have five articles to get through. That's it. So if you have questions, please bring them to the public hearing. We will. Actually. And then 7 o'clock, you have a zoning. I bet you guys have already voted on your timber harvesting. And if you were present at the last board meeting, uh, you know that, or you may not know yet, the planning board withdrew their request from Tuesday's meeting to put some new zoning on. So the way it stands with zoning is done. Can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Huh? I know. I mean, I know it talks. Can I get a motion to adjourn? I I just moved that motion. You have motion to I will make a motion to adjourn. They have to be ready. And I'm seconded. We're done. Thank you.